Welcome to a brand new episode of Socially Awkward. Now, kids, listeners, and everyone out there, you are in for a treat. This is probably the biggest, biggest show we have done in years. Uh, the biggest, longest, and well, you're not on yet, Pat. So just, Damn. just settle down. Bigger and blacker. Yeah, Der- Derek's on right now. I'll, I'll put everybody on. But I was gonna do it's. Uh, it, I'm Steve Owen, of course. I'm Matthew. What up? And we have a treat for you. So not only is uh, the geeks who eat are back, uh, Sarah for and round number three. Number three. Just Woo! so Sarah and Matthew are back. So go ahead and say hi. 
Hey, everybody. Hello. I have to probably turn Matthew up. Don't worry, I'll fix all this. And then, of course, Matt, turn him on. Sorry. We have we have a returning we have a returning guest. He doesn't even remember being on the the last episode, but Patrick, my co-host from Life Is Shit, is yep. on the show. I'm tonight. here. I, I'm and, here. And I'm yes. even I'm even more happy because like usually we like to pop people's podcast cherries, but Derek, I hate to break it to you, you're getting a gangbang tonight apparently. So oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. 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 So, so right up my alley. So there you go. Get yeah. ready. Yeah. Because we're going in raw, baby. We're going we're in raw with pillow. We're coming in dry. Oh! I listened last week. I am a real person. Yes, yes. He's the. <laughs> I, I'm a real person. Honestly, I was very surprised. We got well, number, we got numbers back last week at Arcade Bros for like doing shows sporadically. We had like 500 listens. I'm like, we need to do this more often. Wow! So. There you go. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, right. speaking of which, uh, but uh, big news, big news before we jump into it. Everyone, give congratulations, because Matthew just had a kid. What a <laughs> I did, yeah. yeah, I got a baby. Congrats on not sleeping. Megan caught a pregnant. <laughs> Megan caught a pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> and nine months later, here we be. Hell yeah, it's an 18 year car payment. 18 years. Woo. Have one of your kids got you for 18 years, Kanye, baby. So before we dive into everything, yeah. Matthew, let's yeah. bring, tell everybody what's up to because we didn't have a show last week. No. Uh, so what, so how, how is it? How's life? Life's good, man. You're, you're, I will say this, your baby is adorable. Thank you. He uh, looks like me, which is super rad. I would okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to backtrack. Matt is a sexy dude, so that's good. I'm gonna have to backtrack a bit. I okay. hope he looks like you. I really. I got mad today because I always hate the celebrity shit they always do. So they did. Mean? They did this thing today where it was all like, "Oh, Christopher's son's all grown up, and he looks just like him." I'm like, I would hope so. Like, if he came out looking like Dave Chappelle, I'm like, there might be a problem. Hey, sometimes babies come out and they don't really look like the parents. I know I don't. You know? And, like, they change all the time. But anyways, when I look at him, I'm like, yeah, that's me. No, but what... I see me when I was, like, a little baby in my baby pictures. So he's already, he, he's already got a nickname, doesn't he? Yeah, the little sharder. The little sharder. So we had a little Marco Polo <laughs> back and forth, and literally right after you got done with him, you gave him yeah. his first bath. Uh, yeah. And what, what did he decide to do? Well, he fucking pissed all over us, first of all. And then once we got done, he decided to shard all over the fucking floor. <laughs> No, and it's like legit. Like this little, this little dude, this little dude feeds and stuff like that. And like his, he feeds. Yeah, well, he eats. Like like he feeds. Yeah. He's one of the. It's a parasite. Yeah. He feeds. Yeah. Do you he's, have a baby vampire? He grazes. He's one of the children of the. Dude, he is like a baby vampire. He's super active at night right now. We're trying to nip that. All the but, vampires yeah. from Lost Boys yeah. are coming out like Owen, Owen, <laughs> Owen. Well, part Owen, of me, Jordan, oh, shit. Owen. The issue with that is, part of me would be like, no, take me too, man. Like. Like, yeah, a little st- – mine was – That's just uh, like, I like 24. Come on, let's go. Mine was, was Snoop, in the movie. Snoop Bucket the Warbler. Snoop Bucket the Warbler? Yeah, that was <laughs> – Nice. Yeah, that was, that was my kid's nickname. Snoop Bucket the Warbler. Really? I didn't hear this one. Uh, okay, that's how she got the nickname Snoot. Oh, Snoot. Snoot. Oh, there's my an name origin story. Still to this day, the kid's almost eight. And I Does took, she do that? I they mostly call come Snoot. at night. Mostly. Mostly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, Snoop Bucket the Warbler. Uh, what's up? Ass up? What's up, Dad? Fuck. <laughs> They're dead, all right. Can I go now? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm like, damn it, Dad. I'm getting tired of all these bodies. Uh, <laughs> no, so the, the, it's 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 super rad. It's cool having them. Oh, yeah, around. kids are awesome, man. And, uh, yeah, they do whatever you tell them to. And... Not right now. <laughs> this this little motherfucker's got everything. I don't know. Ba- Bailey, your daughter is going through a phase right now. She's uh, not one to listen. And... Oh, not. Yeah, that's true. She doesn't listen to shit. How old is she? <sighs> she but... is seven, almost eight. Mm. <clears throat> and um, I, I think she's convinced that her dad might be an alcoholic. Because uh, <laughs> we had an event the other night. Steve came over. Okay. And so that was Steve, the event. <laughs> she's, yeah. <laughs> now she loves it when Steve comes over, but only when he brings his Wii. Okay. Because you know I get to play video games. Game. Wii U, Wii U. Yeah, the yeah. Nintendo Wii U. <laughs> yeah, not his penis. Not the, not the penis. Yeah. <laughs> point point yeah. of clarification. Yeah. 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 There we go. Uh, yeah, we're not talking about molestation. Hey, kids, you want to play with my Wii? No. Yeah, no. Yeah, so it's just no. right, she's writing a book, and I think Steve's over. She's like, hey, Steve. 
here's here comes the next chapter of the book. It seems like, wait, yeah, what are you talking about, weird kid? <laughs> and she's like, does Daddy drink too much beer? Find out in chapter three. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, ah, cool. The kid thinks I'm a drunk. Oh, shit. Yes. Wait. I, I want to get to chapter three. I'll put it this way. I love your, I love your daughter uh, Bailey. She's great and everything, but she is very, she is so, she's way too smart for her own good. Oh, fuck yeah. Because yeah. she's like, oh, the first time she came over here, she's like, oh, so it's just you and a cat, and I'm all like, wow, you really. Oh no no no. She's like, <laughs> so because she saw all this like you know oh, yeah, action yeah. figures and pop vinyls and shit and she's like so you're one of those guys who lives by himself with a cat and toys and she's just like yeah I, I guess so damn you right she'd be kind of like into it I was like when you put it into uh, the Cliff Notes version of it yeah my life sounds really depressing thanks <laughs> um, oh, thanks kid I'm gonna go kill myself now. I'll talk to you later. I think if you clip notes, anyone's life is yeah. probably similar. That, actually, okay. I prefer the fucking clip notes. Actually, no, Matthew. Yeah. Matthew, yeah. there's a better version of it. You yeah. haven't you haven't watched it yet, but mm. if people have been watching the new Mystery Science Theater 3000, I highly recommend. Have you guys it. been watching it? No. 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 Yeah. 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 Love Derek, it. no. Love it. I've already been back yeah, up in yeah. So the episodes are like 90 minutes long. This is a show that you should not binge watch. Yeah, I binge watched it. Because mm-hmm. uh, you live by yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Yeah. And toys. <laughs> and, yeah. You know what? I'm really rethinking the title of this episode. It should have been called that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. But so watching it, there's a – it's a, it's it's great and amazing and I love it and some of that. But there is uh, – yeah, I'm not sure if the uh, – yeah, there's that. Set. I think it's because of Patrick's mic. It's going to be a really wonky show. Um, I'm really wonky, so it's weird, fine. wacky stuff. Weird, wacky stuff, kids. Uh, but yeah, Mystery Science Theater has been hilarious. But um, I'm trying to remember where I was going with it. Yeah, so I binge watched it, got done with it, and just was all like, I want more. And then I got him into it. But oh, shit, there was a part that I was going with, and I have no idea where I was going with that. So fuck it, screw that. We're not putting a pin in it. We're moving on. Straight and reset. Everything. Straight reset. Yeah, yeah. Are, what's, uh, do, are there segments on this show? Or we uh, just... There's a couple of segments, but what we're going to do first is the All fact right. that we haven't seen a lot of people in a while, so we're going to catch up on everyone's All right, week. let's talk about food. Well, I was going to catch up on everyone's week. No, fuck that. We're talking about food now. But that's catching no, up. No, we're talking about food. Uh, yeah, they're week catching up because I haven't yeah. seen them since uh, B Horrorcast when they did it because... Right before you guys, you guys did B Horrorcast. You guys came on, and right before that, right. you guys that weekend were going to Disneyland, the happiest yeah. place on earth. Hey, 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 hey. And Matthew, I'm giving you the floor. What have you guys been up to? Well, oh, I, I first, I have a chair. I, I have more than the floor, so nice. <laughs> boom, yeah, boom. So um, what haven't we been up to? Everything. Gosh, yeah, we haven't really had any downtime in the past like month nice it's insane yeah disneyland we covered the food and wine event at dca it's pretty cool they had you know kiosk there with all a bunch of uh local local food local beers local wine we had some pretty tasty stuff there yeah pretty cool do tell we, what was uh, your favorite let's hear the favorites uh, the, the oh, you know what there was uh the taco the, the okay. Korean There's short rib taco with Korean kimchi. Short rib taco. Oh, oh maize balls. Nice. Yeah, I love oh, my God. It was the last thing we ate, and it was the best thing we ate. So it was, like, the most awesome because, you know, when you the, – like, the saying, save the best for last, literally, that's exactly what this Let's was. Let's hear all the sexy details of this Korean short rib taco. It was just really delicious. Yeah, Korean, yeah, Korean short rib, kimchi. There was uh, maybe some shredded carrots on top, something like that. Something, but, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, flavor standpoint. <laughs> the other thing we had I love you was, some tacos, man. That was really good. We had these like uh, corn fritters and oh, it was, it was chili on them. And it was like <laughs> it, it was it was a Frito pie. Like there's you know, oh, it was just it was just yeah. churched up, but it was good. It was really but well. But instead executed. of Fritos, it was like these little like corn fritters, and so like you could actually taste like the corn flavor versus oh, like corn chip flavor. Okay. And okay. then it had like yeah chili all over it and it was Ooh. it wasn't like ground meat chili it was like chopped up up beef chili so it was like Ooh, it was hearty it was legit all right, and so, so if we had to guess where, at where the, was this, this? this was at california adventure if we had to guess at the prep there what what what's best guess at preparation for this oh, taco at, yeah Pat, I like, like yeah. lining up husks we got at least one thing from every kiosk nice yeah, that's and that is the only place they serve booze. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Though the highlight of that trip for booze was really Trader Sam's, which is a must stop if you ever go to Disney. Oh, yeah. Um, Every time. Well, when you go with kids, you're like, fuck, I need a drink. And so, yeah. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't worry about yeah, that. I'm not, not going to participate in that shit show, so that's I'm not... Sure. Literally, I'm sorry, Matthew, that literally was for you a shit show. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, that's, yeah. that's something we're going to choose not to participate in so that we can continue to drink because nine months with no soft cheese, no sushi, no alcohol, no coffee... Would just not work out in our household for oh, either of us. That would, that would do us. you. Yeah. yeah. You too, Matt. Do you, you too. <laughs> that would end us. <laughs> that would really end us. But I get like, like a full human, like that you were taken care of. Yeah. I I guess. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I, just was like, what? I, no, no, I will <laughs> say this. I, I must speak. <laughs> dude, fucking speaks. Get on that mic, dude. <laughs> Take it in, my kid. Yeah, yeah. You can, no, get, I'm, no, get right I'm in there like a dick. I'm still, I'm no, I'm. I'm right in there. <laughs> so yeah, Trader Sam's where um, is a tiki bar at the Disneyland Hotel. For those of you who oh, don't know, okay, I did and not know that. It I is the most that. amazing bar on the planet. Most of the glasses yeah. that we are drinking are tiki drinks from actually oh, have yeah. come from Trader All Sam's. All right, yes, yeah, so let's talk a few about of that. Them to Matthew and yeah, Derek, from, yours are not yours. Matthew, mine's from yours, Tucson. Yeah, and it's a vintage one actually. All right, so we are right in a thrift store in Bisbee. I'm talking to other Matthew now. Yeah, absolutely. Other, not you. Yep. Other. Just <laughs> lay down yeah. this recipe for this. Stuff, so we'll eat. For this uh, booze we got here. here. We got to have to kick out the recipe for the booze here. Right, so it's, it's good. It's uh, uh, Appleton, uh, Jamaican pot still rum. Oh, Appleton Estates? Yep. Yep. Oh, uh, yep. Gosling, uh, dark rum, spice. Ryan Gosling? Yeah, man. Yeah. Ryan Gosling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. La La Red. <laughs> <laughs> you got to murder him, and uh, you pour his blood City into it. of Life. I like Ryan Gosling. So it's got those two rums. It's got that cocoa real syrup. Yep. It's yeah. got uh, pineapple juice, lime juice, and uh, Bitterman's uh, Tiki Bitters. It's good nice. shit. Check out that little stir. I, I will say this. Every time, every time the geeks yeah, who eat come on, right. every time the geeks who eat come on, they always bring a delicious drink. Like Matthews and I, to this day, we still rave about that Parts Unknown. Drink. Parts Unknown, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I, I, like you guys, literally, when you bring drinks, I'm all like, I really got to look these up and start making like cocktails. Like, I don't, I, I honestly, and I know, I think Sarah was a little bit offended uh, before the show when I mentioned, I'm like, I think that was my actual like official cocktail. I've ever had in my entire life was the part. I wasn't known. offended. I just made it known that he's gonna have to hang out with us more because we don't let we don't let our friends drink yucky cocktails. I, That's no. just not like how we roll. I'm right. offended by your face. I'm offended. Uh, no, I thought Pat was gonna be offended. Shake my hand. I shake my hand. I really thought Pat was gonna well say done. I'm offended well that done. Steve actually has friends. Cause oh no, no, it's just the way you look is offensive. <laughs> like your face and your body and everything. It's. It's kind of gross. Pat, you're just jealous because you look like an old man and I can still play a 19-year-old on the seat. Oh, that's true. I think though. Pat's just jealous because you have a couple inches on him. Oh, oh shit. Hey, oh, 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 friends, you fucking oh, me. I like this. Pat, Pat's going to have a Pat's gonna have a time tonight. Usually he always belittles me every time there's a group of people around, but Sarah's got my back, so. Yeah, man, wow. Cheating. You mess with the kitties, you get the fucking claw. Oh, I guess so. Yeah. Damn. It's a Desert Vista reunion, in a way. Yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> no, because really Eric, Matt, Patrick, and I were popular, so it's really not. I wasn't. No. <laughs> doesn't fucking mean anything. We no, we to... built mounds of sand next to the table for <laughs> no reason I, at I all. I really think that's a, that's a tale for life is shit. <laughs> yeah, probably, but yeah. <laughs> that time, we built mounds of sand. On the next episode. Yeah. All right, so you stay yeah. tuned, kids. So you guys were the mounds of sand. I'm gripping. So you guys were busy, but before we dive into everyone yeah. else, you guys right. have some promotions you want to give out, and I want to let people know that the links will be posted not only on their website but also our website and their Facebook page as well. So we're going to be promoting the hell out of this. But you guys are uh, doing some little uh, giveaways, aren't you? We are doing a ton of stuff. It's insane how busy we are the next like two months. Um, we have partnered a little bit with uh, Comic-Con HQ, which is San Diego Comic-Con's streaming channel. They do a lot of original programming, like Kings of Con, um, 
Alan Tudyk has a show, Con Man, I think it is. Yep, Con Man. Con Man. I, there's so many like cool oh, shows. Mark great, Hamill yeah. has his own show on there. And nice. then oh. in addition to that, they also have like other like geeky content like movies like labyrinth is streaming now there oh. uh they have like a bunch of like other stream it's like Lab- a little labyrinth yeah have you Lab- heard of the babe wait what the babe? babe the babe with the power power what power the power of voodoo voodoo that you do voodoo have you heard do of what? the babe <laughs> so yeah they have a lot Love of really movie. like oh. cool content and it's it's like a netflix you know, for San Diego Comic Con. So we're, uh, nice. we're we're partnering with them. They're you know tra- trading some sponsorship with us, and so we're giving away a uh, pretty awesome Star Trek sushi board. It's got an Enterprise on it. You can take out the nacelles for chopsticks. It's oh, that's really that's cool. cool. So yeah. It, is it Netflix and chill though? Is the real question. I mean, for some I mean, people. I, th- I think TNG is on Netflix still, isn't it? Yes, no. It is. no. No, it's not. Oh, it's not. I don't is think it, TNG. Is it on- is it on Netflix? I don't Shit, know which one. Because I make his, it, like, I, I, I can only like, get off when Picard is changing, on, so. They keep changing like, which Star Treks are on Netflix, but I don't know what Comic-Con HQ has on it, which is who we're promoting over here. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be loyal to the people who want to share my stuff. Gosh. I, yeah, definitely. I love it. It's so, actually, it's actually kind of cool uh, to talk about, like, you're giving away the sushi set, because I actually did get a sushi, a sushi set. From uh, like one of the box subscriptions I do, it's like a Street Fighter one. <gasps> but I'm like, oh, this That's is right. really cool. But then I'm all like, I don't know how to make sushi. So oh, but like, we on the blog that we're giving this away, which you have until next Friday to enter and win the Star Trek one. They did a post. We did a yeah. post on how to roll your own sushi, complete with yeah, photos. Yeah. It's yeah, so. it's pretty awesome. It's you know it's funny because it's a lot of it's a lot of work, but at the same time, it's not a very difficult process. You just need to know what you're doing. Yeah, here, here's the thing, like like. Like, maybe, like, four tips can take you from, like, a sushi disaster to, you know, making legitimate at-home sushi with, you know, nice-looking rolls that are, you know, hold together. And there's just a few things you do in the preparation that just make the whole thing come together uh, way easier. And a little bit of practice helps. Like, the more you do it, you're just going to get better. It's definitely, like, uh, you know, you practice a little bit, you'll get good. Yeah, I, uh, I got some snooshi last night. I call it snooshi. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Where like, did that originate? I don't know. It just came. It just came. Um, just snooshy. Yeah, just like snooshy. I had some snooshy last night. Wow. Drank some so snack. A little sake. What kind some... of sushi do you prefer? Do you like? Do you like the raw stuff? Do you like rolls? Like, are you are you adventurous with your sushi? You know, I do get adventurous um, at times. At times, um, I, I normally just do rolls. And honestly, like I I just like hitting up happy hours. Like my whole thing is I just want like a sake bomb. Give me a couple rolls, and I'll be Hell good to go. Hell yeah! What up? I'll slap hands to Haru. The, the, revolving, the revolving one over so there? So Yeah. when I first met Matthew, Matthew was so against Taharu. Not me, Taharu. the other one. Yeah, yeah my cool husband, steps. Matthew Stubbs. Uh, he was so against Taharu because, you know, he's a sushi snob. He loves good sushi. <laughs> right. Shimogamo in Chandler yeah. is probably, like, the best sushi in the valley. Wait, where? Shimogamo. Okay. In Chandler. Location. Okay. Um, it's on uh, uh, Warner and oh, uh, fucking Tom Tom come on. here. You're, you're talking. Well, see, because I got spoiled as shit because I you lived in Japan something. for two years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Shimoga, oh, like Shimo got well prior to me. So he, here's my, my husband on, dated a Japanese Shimogama. girl, so he is a very picky about sushi. He went to Japan. It's it's like they took like a a claw crane and just like grabbed a little like. You know, stall in like uh, Shinjuku Avenue and like oh, okay. drop into All a strip right. mall in Chandler. No shit. All right, I'll check it out. And so, he, yeah, Matt. I was there for two years and like, oh fuck yeah. Best Warner in Arizona. It's being googled. For Warner in Alma, uh, Alma School. If it's within a half hour, I'm in. It's like half an hour from us in Scottsdale, so I'm sure Dude, it's... Dude, I feel close. like it's around the corner from my house. I live where they're connecting the freeway. Oh, no, the one place we went to <laughs> after <laughs> the one show, like, a long time ago with your yeah, new place, that place was... Sushi, like, yeah. I like sushi, yeah. Sushi, yeah. Sushi, yeah. That's my... I like but sushi. But so, Matthew, oh, when we first sushi. started dating, he was so not uh, for Tahari, like, it was... It was a, it was beneath him, and I explained it to him. I go, look, it's not like legit sushi. It's like yeah. the Taco Bell of sushi. Yeah. Like you go and get some taco to, bombs. You don't go to Taco you Bell to get Mexican want. food. You uh, go to Taco Bell to go get Taco Bell. So what? you go to Taharu. You don't to go get, to Taco Bell for Mexican food. Well, I That's don't. That's what they serve. 
Oh, Matthew's jumping on this. No, you gotta talk. <laughs> you gotta <laughs> talk about to get the shit. No, I know. I gotta talk about. <laughs> you gotta talk about to get like fast food. Does it give you? Does it? Yeah. Is it? Does it give you the shit or is thing. the shit? I gotta talk about because the oh. D-backs hit more than five rounds and we get free tacos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had an argument about Filibertos the other day. Okay. Right, okay. Let's, okay. let's hear it. Warner and Dobson. Warner and Dobson. That's my neck of the woods. Shimo Gamo at oh, Warner and shit. Dobson, folks. If you guys go, you gotta hit me up. Hell yeah. Drop the last line. time we went was yeah. Valentine's Day, though, so sorry, we weren't going to hit you up that night. Oh, I would have went with you guys. <laughs> yeah, Matthew could have just brought me in as a, uh, you know, plus... No, you know, I just would have... I, I just would have made it special. Wait, so Filibertos, I have to hear this, because yeah. I actually really like Filibertos. You live, I love it. You live I, super close to one. I, I do, too. Mine's but then again, the my Filibertos is, like, an amazing Filibertos. Mm-hmm. I have the Scottsdale Filibertos, so my food is never too greasy, it's never, I never have the, gotten sick. The one off of um, Indian Bend yeah. and like the 101. It's Over by the, the Guitar Center. Yeah, it's the area. best okay. Filibertos. I have never had carne asada there. Do me wrong. Oh, shit. No carne it's, asada be doing wrong over in Scottsdale. No. I like being done. <laughs> Damn right, right? Yeah. Bing, bing, bong. <laughs> bing, oh. bing, bong. Bing, bing, my, my carne bing, asada. Bong. Yeah, like carne asada. Um, yeah. Carne. I normally just rock the three rolled tacos. It is good. It is some good. guacamole. You know what's like my favorite like burritos? You, I'm sure everybody's seen like the shit roach coach that shows up at like workplaces. Are those not the like the best oh, breakfast yeah. burritos? They're the best whatever they're selling. Yeah. Oh yeah, fuck out of here like man I'm at work yeah, and this shit sucks. You and you're like, hey burrito, no. cool. Mm-hmm. I really I really like uh Los Favoritos has a uh, has a California burrito. It's got like potatoes and stuff in it. We super, just had a really good, good burrito. Where were super, we that had good. really good burritos? We were just talking about that. It's probably Lowe's. No, I can't. You know, yeah, the, okay. the breakfast burrito, they don't, they don't have it anymore, but at uh, Counterintuitive when they were doing their um, mm. Agua Caliente. Agua Caliente theme, the, uh, the, their chef was doing some Caliente. killer breakfast burritos. It had, <laughs> yeah. it had like the. Like the crappy American like orange cheese in it, and it, it just literally had like a craft so single in it, and it was yeah. Amazing. But it was like the best. It worked. I don't. If it's you've never so been worked. to Counterintuitive, like no. seriously, like one cocktail, you're on your butt. Like they don't Challenge mess around. Accepted. They, <laughs> they they don't mess around. They they are various. They're a spirit forward cocktail bar, which means basically you're not getting a lot of like. Fruit juice mix cocktails. It's not like one ounce of alcohol and nothing else. Like, you know, alcoholic. Yeah, I mean, like, no, think I, like I, I parts unknown quality. <laughs> yeah, better yeah, than no, parts no, unknown. I, better, better, really. No, I, I totally agree with you. I've gone to some places. I've been like, oh, can I get a, you know, such and such? And you're like, yeah, can I get it with no water in it? That, that'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm considering, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Like, I'm like, I love paying 15 bucks for ice, which I got for free at my place. So. Like they dump the whole cooler in there. Yeah. Like, right. Water. Yeah. I have to get back to the cooler. No, I'm going to. Uh, really don't. I'm going to the ostrich tomorrow. Have you, guys, have you, guys you know what? We've been tomorrow? there. I like the ostrich. I will say that, you know, this is going to get me a lot of flack in the community. But I really, I I have a lot of love for counterintuitive and, like, bitter and twisted. Those are my two. If, yeah. if I could pick only two bars in the whole valley, those are probably my two bars. Just because. Love it. Respect you it. You know, I, I love yeah. the bartenders. I love the product they put out. I yeah. love, you know, the, the face. The ostrich but, is cool, though. But it the is, ostrich is a really cool good, place, and it's worth too. visiting. Yeah, yeah. Right. I've been there. I've been there a few times. I'm just going tomorrow. It's, tomorrow's uh, my buddy's like uh, Dadchler baby shower because they're having a baby too. Oh so. wait, <laughs> what? Back this up. Okay. That's a new thing. Now I don't. I, I'm. I'm not married. Uh, I don't have kids. I'm yeah, we're over. No, I know. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. I, I did one. That. No, no. Uh, yeah, that's what. Yeah, I that's know. you though. It's not him. That's why I know. He's uh, still young, guys. Come on. Me? I'm not that young. I'm like 84. Um. The, um. You I'm sure sorry, but young that's young pretty 84. young in the scheme of things. Hugh Hefner has been married how many times in his like? <laughs> yeah, Hugh Hefner has Hugh. something I don't call money. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, but still. Let's be honest. Steve is lost cause. I yeah. disagree. Uh, I don't agree with that at all. I love Steve. <laughs> I, I like how... I mean, we love the guy, but... Plan. Apparently my computer really wants to shut everything down tonight. It's all like, hey, you want to do a restart right now? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it, it's reflecting your life. <laughs> do you want to you wanna shut down? <laughs> do you want to do a restart? Because this shit's fucked up, so... Oh, but... Just saying... 
So uh, thinking back to two episodes ago when we were first here, well, not two literal episodes ago, two episodes for us. We talked about my ugly guy crush, Danny Trejo. Yes, yes. We went to da- we went to Trejo's Tacos in L.A., guys. Oh, no. We ate it. It was amazing. Was Mind amazing. blowing tacos, and I tell you what, we were the only gringos there. Yeah, no, yeah, we, we walk in and it's all La Familia. That's I'm like, Spanish. wow. I don't know what that all is. Right. So. It was, right. um, well, Where you don't you expect know? that in well, you don't expect that in like nice like Hollywood L.A. Yeah. Like you're in the part of L.A. where like the billboards are literally all the TV shows and Netflix shows. It was bizarre. I'm okay. like, I'm like, so wow, there's billboards. Netflix billboards. Like, we don't have billboards in Phoenix, so like seeing billboards like in we have general. billboards all over the place. Not many. Actually, well, ten, okay, in Scottsdale well, we don't have billboards. I, Let's be real. I'll, I'll put it this oh, way. I work from home. I don't get. Oh, I don't. It. <laughs> it's not even that. I work from home. I don't get out of my apartment more than like twice a week. I'm a hermit for all intents and purposes. I will, I will say this: my 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 sister uh, on uh, the uh, Noodle and Moon show. She actually is now literally down the street from that Donald Trump billboard in Phoenix. Oh, no. <laughs> so, like, that's amazing. Like, I just find that hilarious. Um, the okay, so, so there's no... Actually, you know what? I agree with you. I, 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 and now, I haven't been to Scottsdale in maybe four years. Uh, but, yeah, I don't think I saw a single billboard yeah, when no, I was like, down you, there. You see, so. like, billboards in, like, you know, like, maybe kind of close, like, you know, downtown Scottsdale, like into no, it's, Phoenix. It's like a whole zoning thing. But like, we don't have them up north, and I don't get away from home there. They're like, this is people the don't like me, guys. Yeah, Nobody yeah, wants right. to hang out with me outside of my home. No, God. Okay, it's actually because I have a really good bar at home, and people just want to drink my booze. Well, well uh, <laughs> maybe if you guys didn't make your booze so damn good, <laughs> nobody would want to come over and run all your shit. Honestly, that's where I'm spending my weekend. Uh, just letting you guys know. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. so I, I like this because so the geeks we have been they've been just doing everything like uh, and I do have to say like you guys have been within this year have been just like coming on the show like so often and I, I'm just gonna throw this out there for other people who want to come on the show and everything like that. You don't have to wait for me. Like, if you literally just hit me up and be like, hey, I want to be on the show, be like, all right, well, here, these are the days that are open. Come on in. So, they might have to fight us for it. Or if you're like, hey, dude, <laughs> to I just got kid. divorced. Let's party. <laughs> and then you're on the show. That too. Uh, Patrick, there, there's many ways to get on the show. <clears throat> it's yeah. very, I'll put it this way. It's very easy to get just on the ask. show. <laughs> you know, booze helps, though. If you bribe them with booze, they are way more open to letting you be back like three hey. times. I, I mean, I hey. I speak from experience. You know, booze and donuts wins these yeah, guys' hearts. Donuts are fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just forgot that. about the donuts. So I have to say this. Wait, 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 they were donuts. Yeah, I did. And they were like, <laughs> ah, they donuts. were like, <laughs> we went and got like a dozen <laughs> hertz donuts. Yeah, we're like Lucky Charms uh, cereal milk. No, where are they now? <laughs> There's a lot of those places now. Though. We didn't bring them. Well, uh, uh, they didn't get eaten, and we had to take like four of them home and then eat them ourselves, which was hey. like a that was a challenge. I'll so be honest. Like, oh my god, that... diabetes afterwards. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously, I was still blood testing. <laughs> I, I think I think it was worth it though. And I told you, I'm not really a sweets guy, but I did crush. I crushed some, and then you I took did. them home. I did very good, but um. It yeah. Was, did, did Megan have any? Uh, yeah, she did. Oh, I got the, like, the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the yeah, we... For, so, for all the people who can't see the hand signals that are going on yeah. here, we, we basically yeah. had four people here, so we cut all of our donuts into fourths, yeah. so that we could all try them. And these donuts are, like, massive, so even cutting them into yeah, fourths donut. was, like, literally, like, a donut in itself. Yeah. And so... I think those donuts were bigger than bagels. They were huge. They were... The Very Lucky great. Charms one alone, I swear, weighed a pound. Yeah, that like, was super good, though. <laughs> it was really good. I ate it for breakfast the next day, not going to lie. Oh, good. Oh, it was probably cool. three pounds. Cool. Yeah. Like a, it was like a metric ton. Yeah, yeah. it's like <laughs> easily a 10-pound donut. Um, <laughs> but, but I do have to say this, because we, we, we're already, like, so far into it and some of that, but I, I want to make it. So Derek, Derek is a friend of ours from high school. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Uh, What's up? How you doing over there, man? <laughs> we've, been, we've been wanting. We've been wanting him to get on, come on the show and stuff like that because uh, uh, he he's just like us. He likes to drink and everything. Like that. But the reason why I bring you know, it up the best the best. Uh, why uh, why I bring bring it up right now because uh, Sarah hits me up going like um does does Derek drink and I'm like <laughs> I'm like yeah yeah he drinks. I'm and, respectful no, 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 of no, people no, that and their alcoholic nice. beliefs. No no you know that but like it sucked for me because when I read that I was at work so at my cubicle I'm just like. <laughs> Derek Drake and other people are like I don't know who Derek is 
I don't even know who you are. Do you work here? Um, so no, you don't. Actually. No, I don't. Um, <laughs> I mean, you're there, but do you work? I'm That's a really right regret question. bringing Pat on the show again. Um, <laughs> uh, but Derek, yeah. yes, let's let the listeners know a little bit about you. You don't have to go into depth or anything like that, but uh, I'm going to death, dude. But uh, share no a little death. bit about yourself. Don't die. Don't die. No, that's yeah, that too. Dude, about I'm like 215 pounds, 32 years old with a beard. Picture and Leonidas. Kind of, I guess. Sexier though. Sexier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, okay. Yeah. Not a doy. True. True story. Uh, All right. Yeah. I, Do you I'm, like long walks on the beach? I like long walks anywhere. I mean, if I was gay, dude, like. I'd be on it. It fucked me so hard. <laughs> oh, shit! What's happening right now? Be careful. Patrick will take your brown smile box. I believe it. <laughs> hey. I believe it. I, there's an aura coming over from my right. You know. <laughs> you got no I can't even know you <laughs> No, Derek's a, a really good buddy. Um, we got a little crew that, that meets up occasionally and gets some beers after... A long, do- long, 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 a long <laughs> day's <laughs> work. After a long walk at sunset. I, I want to bring focus to a uh, long dong. That yeah. There's a lot know. at the table. I'm not going to be honest. See, Everyone's I was just thinking of 16 candles. I was like, long duck dong, what? Oh, there we go. 16 penises. Okay. Shit. Got it. I think it. we might be getting on a cocktail. Uh, should, I, should, I, should I? All right. All right. As the only female at this God. table, I just got real uncomfortable. Well, <laughs> 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 Sarah, I hate to bring it to you. That'd be so worse. Sarah, I hate to bring it to you, but get over it. It's gonna get right. really uncomfortable now. Oh well. Cut talk. Cut talk. Cut talk. Cut talk. Oh, I thought it, I was gonna say it goes on for like another two minutes, but <laughs> no, it ended I, right there. I, I, I know where it ends. <laughs> and I know where it begins. The first time I was listening a couple weeks ago, and I was walking into the chiropractor, and I forgot I because I have uh, Bluetooth headphones, I yeah. forgot they were in. I'm walking in, and I started dying laughing as I walk in there, and I couldn't tell anyone why I was laughing. So thank uh, you for that. You're welcome. Uh, so yeah, so yeah. welcome to the uh, second or third. So edition. dicks are funny, right? Yeah, dicks are funny. Dicks yeah, are sure. Funny. Yeah. Every time. Funny every, every time. time. And that was this week's edition of Cock Talk. Talk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> pile of pee. But, but yeah, so Derek, we've been we've been wanting to get on for a little bit and stuff like that. Yeah. And so, so you've been wanting to get on Derek for a little bit. No, okay. I've been wa- I'm gonna be honest. Right. I've been wanting to get on Derek since he was like, "Hey, you want to be in my band?" I'm like, "Oh, I'll be in it." Um, That's right. We were jamming for a little while. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna yes. get back to it. I guarantee it. We had some we had some good times. But, we got a uh, father now, so we got to worry about who? working around. <laughs> Wait, who? Wow, wow. Okay, I'm sorry. My brain went somewhere really bad, and I'm not going to do it. So now you're gonna have to do. Now. You prefaced it. Please you gotta go. finish. No. Now you gotta finish. Come on, come on, come on, no. come, come, on come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 2017. I will America. say it on the break, and Matthew can punch me then. So right. uh, <laughs> I would kind of like All to right. see him punch you if right now. If it's serious, then we'll let it go. <laughs> no, it's not serious. Like Matthew knows I'm in good. Uh, basically, I'll, I'll just say this: it's getting towards Eric territory. So no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Because remember the last, yeah, remember the last time we were like, oh, go ahead and send the joke. And I said, and Matthew just goes, wow, that's a lot worse than Eric would have said. I'm like, I know. That's why I didn't want to say it. <laughs> You're the happy You already yeah. practiced it. Yeah. No. You know what? I'll put, I'll put the joke on life is shit because I know no one listens to it. Oh, <laughs> all right. What podcast? Exactly. Oh, just kidding. Life oh. is shit on the Fluoride Radio Network. But yeah, so, I wanna, I wanna, so Derek, I apologize if your first podcast experience is like, what the no, this is perfect. Okay. This is perfect. <laughs> He's having fun. And he brought some really nice brews uh, yes, tonight. Yes, he so did. Thank you for that. Some uh, strange pop tops. I've not had it. So, so what do you t- why don't you tell us what you're sipping on? I'm drinking Borderlands Brewing Company Noche Dolce. It's a Moonlight Vanilla Porter, oh. and, which is a porter with Mexican vanilla. And how are you liking that? It's delicious. Perfect. And then we also have Mother Road Brewing. Shout out local. Nice. Totally, have, totally dig on Mother Road. Think yeah, for sure. Yeah, That's a good, good. place. Yeah. No, food's good too. Um, Tower Station, a uh, little Indian pale ale. So 
Go Cheers to that, man. Cadillac Thank you for bringing that. Do you know why they call it an India Pale Ale? Oh, uh, here we go. Racism. <laughs> No, actually. <laughs> I mean, it does involve the British Empire, so... Yo, yes, yes, I do, but go on. Inherent with that, there is racism. Okay, see. Um, but, so, anyways... What, what, what? Racism? <laughs> yeah, the Brits, they would bottle up, or actually put it in a barrel, probably. You know, I don't know, I wasn't there. Well, they're limey fucks, so they'd have their lime tree with their <laughs> shit going on. You just said and they'd put the fucking <laughs> beer in there, and it would age to perfection. Mm. Between England and India, ah. hence India Pale Ale. So that's not really hurt the story I heard. I, you know, they, they needed to oh. add, oh. they needed to add oh. extra hops Round to one. preserve it on a really fight. long voyage. <laughs> that's <laughs> correct, <laughs> yes. Oh. That's, it. that's always the explanation <laughs> I heard. No, that's true. Well, it's true. <laughs> yeah, but that whole concoction. Matthew is consulting the Googles. Oh. Oh, we're going to have a Google throw <laughs> down. Oh, no, see, I'm a That's beer That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I, ex- I actually brew my own shit, too. No, Matthew's like, I'm just going to... Not that that makes me an pick. expert. I mean, <laughs> what, what, what uh, yeah, other... Right. Dick's R S. We got Matthew and other Matthew, but yeah. what, what other Matthew said is actually correct. They would add extra hops to preserve because they're limey fucks, and they're like, "Oh, we need more hops. That'll preserve it." <laughs> well, a lot. I, I actually heard um, was it another podcast? Uh, mm. Things you missed out in history dropped. class. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I shared familiar. that with you. Um, talking about the ships that would sail overseas did not just have water because the water. They had slaves sail. too. Yeah. They did that as well. Back yeah. To, back to. Dark read, times. Pat, read the room. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, they used. I'm talking about the bricks. Beer. It was a bastards. way to yeah. Serve, yeah. Like, for meals, it was kind of almost seen as a meal replacement. But uh, they weren't storing water. Oh, well, yeah, right. I mean, your, your water's going to. It was just a bunch of semen. Going super gnarly on a. Sitting in a barrel for a month. Semen, yeah. Yeah. yeah, there was probably a bunch of semen. There was lots, lots of semen. Of semen, semen on that Tons place. of semen. That's, I mean, all over the and place. Semen, semen. More, yeah. more semen than water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah more semen Sarah's than water. Sarah's like, I'm never contacting Steve to come on the show again. <laughs> so much semen. Yeah. Tons of semen everywhere. What kind of songs do you think the semen sang? Shanties. What kind oh, of yeah, shanties? shanties. Uh, sea it's shanties. Like, Look at me, I have huge wood. It's time to get a semen good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at me, I have huge wood. <laughs> it's time to get a semen uh, good. Uh, <laughs> Swab that deck, yes and now. Look at me, semen's on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was it. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's probably like a dude on the ground. He's like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. he's like, oh, shit. Hey, people are going, dude. Yeah. You're on. Hold on. You better run to the little way. Keep it up. But, yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say it. So, so, true story. Oh, shit. Basically, kind of. There's a book called Nathaniel's <laughs> Nutmeg, okay. which I highly recommend. Okay. Because it's all true stories from that era. Oh, yeah? Full of just completely <laughs> fucked up shit. He's one of those guys trying to, like, make his delivery. He's like, oh, we're making delivery. Oh, never mind. We're going to go visit the fucking prince of this place and watch a tiger maul one of my crewmates to death. Cool. Oh, it's like the Walking Dead season finale. Spoilers. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. Thanks. I haven't seen it yet. Like, oh, you, oh, hey, you can drop off your fucking nutmeg, or maybe you can get mauled by a tiger. Cool. I mean... I do like wild like, tigers. You, you knew the risks when you signed up. For yeah, time. yeah, wild tigers, you know. I didn't fucking read the terms and conditions. Nobody does that shit. It's like, okay, yeah, I thought it was just like the Apple update where you're like, yeah, sure, whatever. Agreed. Yeah. Didn't, they, didn't they do a whole South Park episode on why we should be reading these? <laughs> yes, yes, and it was amazing. That was a great episode. Uh I was raised to read those things. My mom was like, read, make sure you read things before you sign. I still don't read. You're like, Mom, I can't read. She's like, fuck, I don't have time. i got to sign this. Yeah. yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, that's, why, that's why I was... No, that's why I love when they were like, oh... Do you I have this on uh, books on tape? Yeah, books on tape. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I thought I'll listen to it first. That's why I was happy when the school was like, hey, you're dyslexic. I'm like, an excuse not to read! You know. So. And Steve still can't read. No, I can't. I literally just fake it. So, I'm like, the... They're all like, fake it till you make it. Yeah, they're like, what's what's the book Spot Run Spot? Well, he ran. Okay, you read the book. I'm like, thank you, title. Shit, he got the plot. That's why I was very. That's why I failed with uh, Joy Luck Club. I'm like, what is it about? Joy Luck in a club? And they're like, no. 
I had like burned <laughs> flesh and shit. That book was fucked up. Joy Luck Club. Yeah, Joy Luck Club. That book was seriously fucked up. Did you guys read that? No. In high school. Not one book that I read. Dude, what about fucking, uh... Oh, quite Night. A oh, Night was good. I like Night. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. In high school? Yeah. Nope. No, 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 no. Middle school. What about you Jane, you Jane Eyre, school? though? Jane Eyre. Fuck that shit. I don't, I don't remember reading Jane Eyre. No, it's like this abused woman, and she's like, I'm a housekeeper now, and I want to bang the dude that owns the house. Oh, hey, a fire. Now he's horribly disfigured. Now I have a chance. Oh, what? They didn't even have, they didn't even have like, a bang sesh in the book? Wait, no. So you're just, it's like the dude's out of relief, I basically. Like, I didn't read it, but if I was reading it, I'd be like, oh, hell yeah. Wait, like, no, that fucker's fucked up. Down, Wait, and this then all that shit happens. It's just like, oh, no. Huh? This is Jane Eyre? Oh, man. Jane Eyre, yeah. So Jane Eyre is so really, basically you got this. You, no, no, no. Uh, you got this, we'll say, homely woman who wants to get with this <laughs> rich dude, but he's way too good looking. But, oh, suddenly there's a house fire. Now he's disfigured. And, oh, now he's in her league. Well, uh, I'll, that, I'll be knows. honest. I, I, I would assume that every woman in a house fire, I have a chance. So, uh, no, you don't. Jane Eyre, yeah. No, you don't have a chance. No. Which one number are you again? Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude, back <laughs> off. <laughs> I'm not Steve enough. for, what, like 24 years, yeah, maybe? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's been a while. It's, so this yeah. makes sense hey. why your self-esteem is so low if he's been in your life that long. <laughs> I, I'm seeing a correlation here. You no, know, oh it's a God. reflection. It's because my self-esteem is so shitty. So Misery loves company. Yes. There, there you go. Steve just had an epiphany. I did. I was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you look over here. Hello, darkness, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He's like, oh, wait. That's why I've been feeling uh, down. Oh, shit. Uh, I need Bingo. A, I need a refill. Uh, colors need blue. And I need a here, refill. I can't see colors either. Oh, you know, you know, do you want a refill or do you want to catch a break? Is that what you're getting at? She wants to cut your brakes? No, I asked oh. him if he wants to catch a break. I already did. It's going to be a wild ride. No, I'm going to fix this car tomorrow anyways. So. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's another story. Well, we didn't get to my week. We don't need to. My week's depressing. I don't want to talk about my week. Your life is depressing. Yeah. <laughs> I like to keep the show upbeat and everything like that. Well, I did throw yeah, out because we have a larger crowd guy. tonight. I thought it might be fun to actually play a game. Yeah, I, yeah, don't, yeah. I, I don't know which games. game to play. Thank you. That's the problem. I don't know what game to play. I don't have that many games. Game Red, oh Palisades. No, my shirt oh, yeah. That shit is fucking good. Dude, you have, you tried it? I to, yeah. Dude, it's so good. Oh, Matthew, man. Soon, Matthew, as soon as you brought it it's over. It's hot pinks. You're like, this chick. No shit, shit right? it's fucking, And it's then you do good. it, and you're like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm on yeah. board. Matthew introduced me to it, and I was like, Pat, I'm bringing beer over. And I literally. Now, I know what? Like, I, I strayed way far into, like, the chick zone. Yeah, it's what's it called white claw. It's like the hard seltzer water. Oh, I haven't had that. Oh, I'm like I'm totally a woman right now, but Dude, I, even I'm I haven't it. had that. Oh. It is fucking good. <laughs> is, it, is it like refreshing and shit? Oh hell yeah! You're just like fuck it, man. Like you're like do it. I imagine like you're in the kitchen. You're just like popping it. It's like yeah, it's just like ah. exactly. Yeah. I'm like I'm Everything good turns shit. white. You're like about to fucking refresh. And I was talking about this commercial. And I'm <laughs> like, hey. <laughs> Hey, I'm got a vagina now, but it's cool. It's like, it's, like it. it's like New Zima to compete with, like, the reemergence. Oh, yeah. New Zima. I love that, New Zima. It's New Zima 2.0. Like, hey, I'm very like, after, after a long, hard day of interning hey, and doing other, like, I got a vagina things. right now. I'm going to take 20 minutes to see what this I like, is all I about. I love that yeah. March wearing a pussy. I mean, I'm like, shit, I'll flick that clit all day oh, long. Oh, shit. Like, hey, this is new to me. Let's, let's feel this. That you said after a long hard day, I'd like to become a woman for half an hour and drink. You had some too, so you. Can... <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Uh, uh, no. uh, I, didn't, I didn't have that shit. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, no fuck you, man. And then where was I this week drinking scotch? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Honest, the funny part is you guys are like, oh, no, I have no problem. I already tell people that I don't have a penis. I already have a vagina anyways. No, no, when did I have this? Wait. I, I, yeah. I, I yeah. have yeah. house. You don't have anything? Yeah. Yeah, Maybe Caitlyn's in there. It's a fucking doll down there. That's <laughs> right. Damn right. Damn right. You, ever see, you ever see Dogma? Yeah. The angel, the voice. You get. Yeah. That's what it is. It's a Ken doll. Uh, Man, we Caitlyn gendered it. Don't lie. <laughs> no, when did I have this? Oh, seriously, because I don't remember it. I think. 
We totally did. Isn't like, there a roofie in Tier Zima 2.0? That's what I'm wondering, because I'm I, all like... I think you got roofied. Because oh, I told you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I raped the fuck out of you. <laughs> like... <laughs> Did that's it hurt to hot. walk the next day? No, well, that's rape if you're not offended. <laughs> I, I will put it away. Hey, away. Steve, it's only gay if you don't struggle. No, actually, I'm kind of, I'm actually kind of disappointed then, Pat, if you rape the shit on me, because guess what? I didn't feel shit. Oh! oh, oh snap! <laughs> oh. Yeah, you want to plow my brown smile box? You better bring something. I'm, I'm, I'm going home now. <laughs> He's had Brentford for, for all these years. <laughs> yeah. No. I'm going to home now. I'm going to cry. What up? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Uh, now we have the black the black chair. Dude, we, okay, see, yeah. I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't remember. I really wish I did remember because you were raving about it. It was you. fucking good. Yeah. yeah. That's what I, was, I believe it. Yeah, that's what I'm like. I'm like I'm disappointed because I usually remember drinks that I had that I enjoyed. If I don't remember this now, I'm like, you drank oh too God. much. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, how, how good was it, really? I don't know. It was you're, pretty hot. Stubbs, I know you're intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Patrick is usually is my beer connoisseur. He will introduce me to stuff that I never thought I would like, and I'm like, oh my god. So that's I got down to the sour. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. The sour beers. Oh, man, sour. Yeah, I don't know. I I can't I can't get down on sour. No. Really? So, oh. I've, I've, I've I've tried them. You know, I'm I'm sure they're good for some. What have you tried? Though? What? Hold on. What have you tried? Oh, here we go. Mm, well, I don't. I didn't write them down. You know, maybe I've, I've you know, tried it like maybe two or three times. So I'm like, you know, this is. This were they thing. Were they legit Belgium though? Uh, I was not in Belgium when I was drinking. No, them. no. But were they of the Belgium style? <laughs> You, you know, they, sure they were just sour. I feel like it's like... Okay, so hold, hold up, hold up, hold <laughs> up. I got the floor. Belgium style. <laughs> yeah. So there's a Goza. Goza is a Wait, German... Goza or Gozer? Goza. Goza, no. not Gozer. I'm on your no, list. No, no, no. Goza is a German... Was, I think you'd have a way better time selling him on this if it was Ghostbusters. Yeah. No, that's yeah. saying. God damn it, I have the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I am a woman. I always have the floor. Oh, oh, shit. oh, oh I can't argue. I can't <laughs> argue with that. You're right. <laughs> True story. Have you been to Wilderness? I haven't. I'm a little... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The true story. Wilderness actually provides or is the beer used in our favorite brats, which is proper beast, folks. Wilderness is awesome. I'm not trying to be sponsored or anything, because I actually really just love the guys who run proper beast. Yeah, they sure. do the best brats. They have the best and fucking bacon, too. They oh, just yes. brought out their bacon. We haven't oh. tried it yet. I don't know oh, why over here like, oh, yes. They're bacon. Have you seen those photos? Okay. They're okay. Look I've seen the photos. Proper but... beast sells bacon at the uh, Gilbert Farmer's Market. They also it's do It's fucking Phoenix off the market. chain. Uh, anyways... So there's a different style of a sour. It's called a Goza, which is a German style, and it tastes like sweat. What? It's like salty and oh. shit. It's true Belgian so style. Okay. It tastes more along the lines of like yogurt, but sometimes they'll add fruit and shit, and it's fucking amazing. Hey, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I mean, if you go to Arizona Wilderness, they have probably the best sours I've ever had in my life. Yeah. My favorite is, uh, it's all Belgium. Uh, there's a Rodenbach, which uh, is an aged sour. Um, and then there's a Petrus. They actually aged the shit in Chateau Petrus wine barrels. Mm. You know, I had the same problem with rums, too, for a while. I just hadn't had good rums. So, and, yeah. then, and then all of a sudden I got turned on to good rums. And I'm like, I, they're amazing. I love them. I want, want, yeah. all, want them all the time now. So maybe I just need to try the right sour. If it, and it was a Goza. A Goza it's kind of, I like Goza. It's a specialized kind of thing because it's salty. And you're like, I'm drinking a beer. And then it's salty. And you're like, what the fuck is this? I, like, I, wow, I, I, this I, is I, salty. I didn't realize I was planning on Patrick doesn't realize he's just sucking beer out of a hose and a wall, <laughs> you know. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, holy shit, this is a glory hole. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> If you haven't been to Wilderness, though, definitely. I think it's the first time I've ever seen Sarah with a disgust face. <laughs> She's over here playing Candy Crush. And just... Actually, it's where How did I fucking come out? <laughs> why am I on my knees prepared for something? <laughs> yeah. Like, wait, why did I just get... Where's the, why is there a countdown? In the... <laughs> yeah. Like, Three, ten, nine, eight, seven. Why, why did I just get divorced? Oh, wait. That's why. Oh, never mind. Now I know. Uh, this show is... 
this is off the rails. Safety, safety, safety first, folks. Safety first. Safety first. Absolutely. Safety. You do heard not it here participate first. in glory holes. Safety first. Do not participate in glory. As Always tempting know. as it is, as yeah. tempting Always as it is. Always know where your partner comes from. Just as say, you heard on social media, I have to be a voice of reason yes. here. Do not participate be in glory safe. holes. Yep. You, yeah. you think a random hole in a wall is fun and intriguing, and you just want to take a look at it, but be warned, kids. Be warned. All I mean, of a sudden, the penis comes out. What was scary out. movie, too, where the guy gets impaled in the head yep. by a penis? Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. In the bathroom, it in a glory hole? the CG that I think I've ever seen. I always assumed that it was... that were like, this I is part of... Really practical effects that were terrible. Yeah. I mean, yeah, kind of I like, guess, I mean, kind of like, um, speaking of these things. Hold on. King Leonidas is trying to talk. Who? King Leonidas. Has anyone seen Beyond Reanimator? There is a scene in Beyond oh, Reanimator no, where oh, he loses his Beyond dick, Re-Animator. and it literally just crawls across the floor. I've seen Reanimator. Though. It's it's the third sequel. Fuck, it's fuck not me. worth the seeing. The third sequel? Yeah. 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 I haven't Three. seen the second sequel. Three. Yeah, you're going to go one more. I haven't seen any of them, so... Well, you're missing well, out because the Re- Re- animator is an amazing yeah, movie. Yeah, the is pretty rad. Yeah. Is, even, is it on no, Netflix? I'm not going to yes. admit to why I yes. know this, okay. but there is a really hilarious porn called The Repenetrator. Oh, I'm about, I'm about to watch yeah. that shit. Yeah! It's <laughs> hilarious! All day. Google on that shit tonight! Dude, I'll have that shit on repeat. I don't give a fuck. Hilarious. Right now, so. You're doing it right now. Yeah. <laughs> Steve O's pulling up his incognito. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and drive it. <laughs> I'll, put, I'll put it this way. I don't live with anybody, so I don't have to use God, you know. <laughs> I've been asking sure. five times since the start of this Yeah, show. but the government now has rights to see your your hey, private man. internet surfing history. Because... I'll, I'll put it this way. <laughs> whatever, whatever I see and the government sees, I'm, uh, when they break, take me to court, and be like, you're just as gay as I am. <laughs> Not the government don't give a fuck. As long as they get their money, they're cool. Like, hey, you, you enjoying that porn? Cool. Give us... Seventy dollars. Yes, I am enjoying it. Yeah, so. Reanimator is a is a really good film. It's really it's based off of loosely based off of an H.P. Lovecraft uh, story. But they also did make H.P. a Lovecraft. broad. Yeah. Uh, they also did make a uh, a good. Li- they actually made like a Broadway musical of it as well. No, uh, shut uh, up. Yes. Yes. Are you really? okay. shut up? Uh, Yes. Oh my so God! Is that uh, Cthulhu in it? Then no. Uh, no, none no. in this one. No. But they Damn are making a Cthulhu game, which is. Are they? Oh yeah, my yeah. God! I just had my mind blown. No, I'm on board. No. What's this game? We'll clean it. Uh, I, there's, I, there's, I, there's, there's several. I, they don't. Yeah, they have a bunch of those games. They have a bunch of different games in the works. There is one. Uh, it's actually based off of a lot of. Uh, it's going to be for Oculus, but I think it's very weird. But the game is actually developed by Insomniac, uh, with the creators of. Uh, 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 Ratchet and Clank and uh, Spyro the Dragon and also the Sunset Overdrive. Oh, uh, they're going to be, good. yeah. They're going to be crazy. Sounds going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> In other words. Uh, whoa, yeah. whoa. Well. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. Friendship over. Um, <laughs> I wish everybody listening could see It took that long? <laughs> wow. Ah! <laughs> <Sarah>. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, anyways, yeah, it's gonna be. It's basically based off of a bunch of different short stories from uh, H.P. Lovecraft. But yes, Cthulhu is rad, in yeah. it. Uh, but they also do have another game, I believe, that's coming out on Steam. Mm. Uh, that's also gonna be like Steam. it's like it takes place in like the, I think the Steam. 1920s. And it's okay. supposed to be like a detective with like you know like Cthulhu uh, creatures are attacking the town and stuff like that. So there's a bunch so of different stuff. So the good old days when Broad stayed in the kitchen. Oh. Is this? Is oh, this? She just you act her. like that offends me. I'm a. I'm for all intents and purposes a stay-at-home food blogger. Do you Which think is that that? Do you think that that's not like my like goal in life is to be a stay-at-home housewife chained to my stove? Like oh, I'm like darn. I don't have to go face that daily grind every day and have a soul-sucking job where my boss is an idiot who I can't stand. Darn. What is Sarah, that for the record, winning. What yeah, you... no joke. Like, <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> like, I'm it's all awesome. for like women who want to work, go work, be happy, do your thing, you do you, babe. Yeah. But don't uh, hate on me because I want to have a glass of scotch waiting for my man when he gets home. Damn. Boom. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> wait, so, what, uh, kind of scotch? what kind of scotch? Lafroig. Lafroig. Mm. Yep. What year? 
Oh. Well, I it? think the bottle what we have year? currently on top of the fridge is 10 year, but 8 oh, is a preference. Shit, we, yeah. have, uh, we have a okay. 10 year. Yeah. And so I want to take everyone with us. Yeah, I was going to say you have this special one. Uh, yeah. Well, what's the special one? Cardias. Cardias? Yeah. 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 It, was, it was done for their like 200 yeah, anniversary. Uh, anniversary. Uh, everybody else, shut up. I want to hear this. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's a, their 200, uh, 200th anniversary. Formulation blend. And it was what? Call it. 18? No, it was it was like it was a special. It wasn't one of their like. Yeah, you know, you know they, they, didn't, they didn't label. You know how how, how aged it was. Aged. So hold on, Matthew, are you Scotch guy? Then a uh, little bit, a little bit. We both are okay. Scotch people. What, Don't uh, act like a woman can't drink Scotch. I'm not acting like the shit. bottle of Cuddy Sark Prohibition Edition on top of the fridge is mine, and the Glenfiddich barrel aged is mine. Nice. <laughs> I'm not acting like shit. Okay, what do you guys think of the McCollin? Oh, let's talk about the McCollin. Uh, let's talk about the McCollin. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> you know, I mean, I've sampled it a little bit, but it's not really not really my go-to. I don't really have a, oh, okay. a super strong opinion on it. Matthew like, is a PD Scotch kind of guy. Like, okay, yeah, my old man's a Scotch guy, and his, 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 yeah. his go-to is McCollin. He wants, Matthew typically wants a Isla Scotch, which is that PD... Yeah. Oceany, briny yes. flavor yes, yes, that's yes, got that no, iodine that. Okay. feel. Though we learned from Kiefer at Counterintuitive that if you put a couple of drops of Laphroaig into a cocktail, yeah. that iodine will actually balance a cocktail. <laughs> Seriously? What? Uh, why was that there? <laughs> Did not say that, but you know what? I mean, I'm glad you thought that was funny. No, no, I thought it did. I never like, 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 cocktail. It's not a laughing no, see, matter. My old man. Yeah, but, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's not. Sudden, no, no. I'm <laughs> the bad guy. Yeah, no, we're talking about Scotch. My own man's a Scotch guy. He likes the McCollin. So Lafroig. Yeah, Lafroig is uh, it's uh, super peaty, smoky iodine. Okay. Yeah. What were you just saying, Sarah? I'm sorry. I had iodine. Yeah, if you put just a little bit of um, Lafroig into some cocktail, like different kinds of cocktails, it actually balances it out. That like iodine really? note will balance out a cocktail. Okay. Counterintuitive actually had a cocktail by Kiefer called the Gallant Sir, which had a bunch of stuff that I don't remember, but it had cantaloupe something yeah, in it. Was, it was probably like some like Fortaleza tequila. Yeah, it was okay, some so cantaloupe since you syrup both and yada yada. Are Scotch fans? What is the favorite? <clears throat> oh yeah, I mean I I, I, I love Scotch. My, go, my go-to is always Lafroig. I I have a like I like a bunch of different ones depending on my mood for me. Like if I just want you know scotch on the rocks, nothing yeah, in it. Yeah, that's I what I'm talking about. Like Cuddy good Sark, scotch. Cut, Cuddy Sark Prohibition Edition is probably one of my favorite. Like it's inexpensive. It's twenty six bucks a bottle. It's delicious. And where can you find this? Total one. Okay. I okay. also really like uh, Nika Coffee Whiskey, which is a Japanese whiskey, and it's literally coffee flavored, and it's so good. Yeah, they have, they have coffee it's and a grain a, bill. Yeah. It's a Japanese whiskey. Is <laughs> it this straight up whisker or is it uh, shoju? It's but whiskey. It's, it's uh, whiskey. Yeah, it's okay. Grain. All right. Steve is upset because his podcast just totally got taken over by food. I don't know. <laughs> no, it, it, it has nothing to do with that. I, no, I, fuck that shit. We're talking about good stuff. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, we're talking about Scott. Yeah, my no, old man's wait, like, no, I'm, McCollin, I, I'm just going to say this. This is this, What I love is Patrick is more talkative when it's not his show. I usually have to drag stuff out of him <laughs> on life and shit sometimes. Like, what have you been up to this week? He's like, oh, you know, whatever. Stuff. No, <laughs> that's fine. I like scotch. I, I guess. Good scotch, scotch, though, not shit scotch. Okay, what scotch? Because apparently I need to bring that into those shows now. Okay, no, what they're talking about is good scotch. That's... Get them a bottle of Cuddy Sark Prohibition Edition. It's it's a legit scotch. How much? Twenty six bucks 26 a bottle. Bucks. That's too so much for that. me. That's not that <laughs> that's for a scotch. Much. That's probably about the cheapest right. you want to go for a decent scotch. You're pay no, 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 of Grants. Of dollars for a good bottle. We're of we're talking about a guy who has action figures and lives with a cat. Yeah, so. but you can literally pay. I'm talking to a guy who I will get to be drinking good cocktails before <laughs> the year is through. Yeah, yeah. She don't give no fucks. Yeah, <laughs> right. No. No fucks given. Okay. Okay. So we're talking, we're talking, and serious if I'm cussing on air. No, you're you're good. You can cuss and everything. Actually, okay. So we're talking about the best best scotch. Yes. What is the shittiest scotch then? Uh, Johnny Walker. Okay. Probably. 
I mean, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with blended scotches. Johnny's okay. It's not, there's, you know, it's uh, fine. So, you know, maybe it's overrated. It's very popular there's, or whatever. There's like it's a, fine, though. there's a place for just about every spirit. I mean, given you're probably not going to want to go buy like a generic, you know, brand, like, you don't like want to go buy. Way, you don't want to buy Safeway or Fry Scotch, right? Yeah. But like, you Kroger, know, Kroger, if, Kroger, it, Kroger, Kroger, if, it, if it has a name hey, on it, it's drunk. probably <laughs> at least drinkable. <laughs> I, I disagree. With if that it gets one. you drunk, uh, that's my goal when I'm drinking. Yeah. Though I will say, if you want to use scotch in a cocktail, the scotch to do that with is monkey shoulder, because monkey shoulder is made for that. mixing. Okay, first mm-hmm. off, yeah. I'm buying it because it's Good. monkey shoulder. Oh my gosh! So at cocktail week, when we went to cocktail week, they had oh, the this, coolest booth. This booth. They had right. a freaking TARDIS. Oh, cool. Oh, no, and so, and so what they did is they had you go in and they they had you put on, like, VR glasses. What? Right and it took, you, it took you to the Savoy in London, which is this big bar. Super fancy cocktail bar in London. And so you're, like, learning about the Savoy, the bartender's yeah, making lead, you a lead, drink. The bartender's doing all this fancy mixing and pouring and he's, you know, like, yeah, talking to you, you yeah. know, explaining, like, oh, he's, have you met these guests? Yeah, and you're, you're good. So someone next to <laughs> someone next Sorry. to you and you know and so you're having this like great virtual experience then you uh, you know it virtually he sets the drink down in front of you and you take off your your glasses and then they pull the curtain back and then the actual lead bartender from the savoy is right there and he hands you the actual cocktail that he just made and nice. you have to try it right it there. was the coolest thing ever okay. Okay. Super and bad. they gave me monkey shoulder socks and i love swag and socks hello i was like dude bar socks Sold. Dude, is there anything better than a brand new pair of socks, though? Nothing. Uh, oh. If I was ever rich, this is a fact. My thing when I'm rich, when I'm rich and famous, I will never wear the same socks twice oh, because a yeah, brand totally. new, a brand new pair of socks is the best feeling ever when they're super cushy and like amazing and perfect and the elastic is all get like so pissed at christmas time when my mom got me a package of socks i get no. so pissed because i yeah, want to do game different, man those are no, different socks i don't but what those now like, you wish you were like getting new socks, socks right but what like, year does that change like yeah like, hey, dude, i wish my mom was buying me new socks because so, dude, dude, i like, love 16 new socks. i can drive that's 18 what, i can smoke it was, join the marines dude it was super rad 23 i'm pretty sure that changes when you move out of the house yeah, no, you're right. You're right. No, because I, mean, I lose I, a bunch in your your washing machine. Like I totally agree with you guys because I have the I do the loot wear now and you get like two pairs of socks if you do like a certain subscription. So I love every month. I'm like, oh, I'm getting two new pairs of socks. Like, yeah. <laughs> Last year, one of my gifts from my wife was she gave me a subscription to Sock Fancy. So every month I got a fresh pair of socks with nice. crazy designs on them and nice. it was rad. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah so I, I, I like, totally agree. They're they're great. Yeah, like 13 no, pairs of super cool socks. But no. Like I uh, like I agree with you, Derek. Like basically, you get to a certain age where it's all like you hate socks in the beginning because you're like you're young, you're expecting toys and stuff like that. But then when you get to that certain adult age, you're like like honestly, my parents made a joke. They're like, "Well, if you don't tell us what you want for Christmas, you're just getting socks and underwear." And I was all like, "I'm fine with that." You're like, "I actually could I, use this. Like, my sizes. I'm this like, is what I, I need. I could use that actually right now." <laughs> yeah. It's like, but honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Last Christmas, I opened a box. I'm like, "Oh." Yeah, yeah, book, and I'm like, where the fuck are my socks? <laughs> I, I was literally trying to piss. I was I, like, I didn't get any socks or underwear. What the fuck? I get so excited for a new pair of socks. I get, I, exactly, I don't even, yeah. I don't even wash them first. I just pull them out because no, they're, not even, exactly. they're not even like tucked together. You know, like they haven't uh, seen a washing yeah, machine. Uh, they're just nicely flat, of laying against each other. You just grab them and the, like they're the padding in them is still puffy. And take a deep smell. They're, they're, oh they're, yeah, they're virgins. They're virgin hey. socks. And then you just like. Stuff in your foot. Oh, question. Like yeah. Question for the dudes, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Questions for the dudes. So, I'm a boxer briefs dude. Mm-hmm. Yep. Matt? Yeah, bo- boxer briefs. Yep. Derek? Steve? All right, I am a boxer briefs, but were you always a boxer briefs nope. dude? No, I wasn't. Uh, there was so, a time where I was alive when they weren't invented. It, you're absolutely correct. <laughs> So, obviously, underwear, growing up, tidy mm-hmm. whities and shit like that. Sure. Yeah. Like, we have the cool ones, mm-hmm. but, you know, shit. Yeah, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Superman, Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Space Jam. I had some Space Jam. Oh, Space fucking Jam, yeah. Damn right, dude. I'll I had, jam on I had Bugs Bunny on one end and Jordan on the other. Um, uh, <laughs> 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 the Jordan on the other. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jordan on the other. Um, uh, <laughs> I forget. There's a lot of people probably like Bugs Bunny. I, I don't. Anyways. Uh, I rewatched Space Jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Space Jam. 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 Space Jam.
And at the time, it was like, oh shit, I got boxers. Because you and know why? And I got like silk boxers. Yeah. Why the <laughs> fuck did I get silk boxers? <laughs> no, I because agree. it was available. That's why. Yeah, but good. silk. Silk. Absolutely. I mean, you can sleep in silk boxers, but wear them out in my daily. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck no, that was a yeah, amateur fucking move. Amateur, amateur fucking, fucking move. move. And I will say, from the girls' perspectives, guys, boxers, not sexy. You basically look like you have like. A puffy skirt on yeah, with some yeah. chicken legs sticking out. Okay. And I don't care how good looking your legs are. When you wear boxers that are the appropriate size for you, your legs look like chicken legs. Yeah. You shut down boxer, the bottle before I can even... Boxer sorry. briefs are where it is at. That's not worth it. But I, got no. some good, I, got some, I do squats. I got some... No, no, no. no, 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 no. no. But it doesn't legs. matter because if I know, you're wearing... Dude, we've all if sucked your cock. If you're, wearing, if you're wearing boxers oh, yeah, and they're the, the proper size for you... They still are baggy around the legs, which make your legs look you're right. chicken legs. No, you're completely right. right. No, you're right. Just go with the boxer briefs. Yeah. Me? I agree with you because it's the same as granny panties on women. <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> yeah. But I'm, uh, I'm go saying, ahead. Deny it. Uh, I'm not. No, I'm not going to. Dude, I'm not that girl. <laughs> no, no. Uh, but I'm going to say this. Yes, you're completely right on everything, but you have to realize with us, when we had boxers, you know what we were doing? We are going... Now I'm free. <laughs> I'll tell you the then, yes, we went from boxers, or I went from boxers to boxer briefs. Mm -hmm. You know and what it, I did? And it was like, Wait, yeah, that's what I want to know. Holy shit. It's like the I best of both it. worlds. You guys like, like, you get to not you're have snug, like, you're yeah. good, yeah. and like, you, you got a house, you're you, secure. Yeah, uh -huh. you're yeah, secure. It's, it's like the best Your of both worlds. Your shit looks world. good. Mm -hmm. Your ass looks good. Boom. I don't and care then I who was you like, are. You put what? boxer briefs on, your butt is amazing. Yeah. There you go, motherfucker. Oh, man. <laughs> Poor Matthew. I he gets, you were. He gets, he gets <laughs> well, yeah, harassed so on the daily. Like... <laughs> Good for you. Oh, Matthew. Good oh, for you. He <laughs> is treated like an object. He is a piece of meat. I mean, Perfect. Just, just for the record, <laughs> I have a, I've always I have said I don't know what women are complaining about women in the last like three years. Me, yeah. You know what? I wish I had that luxury. She knows what she I'm likes, sorry, man. Yeah. I'm sorry, women. I'm sorry, women. I was really just kidding. Right. No, I'm, <laughs> I mean, I'm but this is the question I'm going to ask. So, yes, we all went to the boxers. Okay, but when did you switch over to boxing briefs? I know the exact moment. Go ahead, buddy. I was waiting for a phone call from a lady that I enjoyed back in the day oh oh my god please tell me she was like i don't like a guy in boxing she's like fuck it i'm going to the store no 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 <laughs> i was terrible with women but i was what? i was terrible damn terrible show me some moves terrible that's really terrible <laughs> yeah it was terrible terrible. Terrible. So terrible terrible if a girl called terrible. me i would fucking i would wait around if she said oh yeah i'll call you later i would wait around for hours and i remember the moment when I was waiting for a phone call, I had to run down the fucking stairs, and I was wearing only my boxers. And the sound and the pain, Ooh, yeah. the clapping, oh. and the, the pain running down the stairs reminded me never to wear those my things boxers again. again. Okay, yeah. so that's when, that's when you made the switch. Okay, were you always... When, when did you finally switch, or were you always into the boxer briefs? Uh, no, I, I, probably, I probably went over to boxer briefs like mid-20s mid okay. sometime. All right, okay, Matthew, you? Going into high school. Going, oh, oh, okay. oh you're an early so. adopter. Yeah, that's, early that's pretty good. Okay, Patrick, so we were, we're on the top of about underwear. With well, so we went into, you wore whitey tighties, and you moved into normal down. boxers. When did you switch? Popular. Now, did you, did you, you switch over to boxer briefs? So I you, did not. No. You haven't. What are you wearing? No. Boxers, man. No. Oh, you were, I'm glad you were not here for He's that. He's <laughs> Uh, he's old fashioned. He's old fashioned. He's old fashioned. I, I, I moved over to boxer briefs probably about two years ago, and the only reason why is because I finally found the perfect pair of jeans that fit my body, and then I realized boxers do not work with these jeans. Uh, so I was like, I'm switching over to boxer briefs, and I haven't looked back. I'm like, oh my god, my ass looks amazing. Thank and you. You have to do nothing else. You literally, yeah. exactly. It is like, it's like Spanx for dudes, like... You literally just have the perfect butt. And no matter what your body type is, you put boxer briefs on, your butt is amazing. But let's let's see, my butt is amazing even with well, who boxers. can see it hey, in boxers? But, 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 you just have Pat, this flappy this fabric. Amazing butt. This is the oh, thing though, Pat. I actually have, for whatever reason, an amazing butt. That's like my only feature. Like I actually <laughs> have a butt. Thank you. Like I actually Besides have a butt. Besides your personality. No, fuck my personality. My butt. 
I would fuck your personality. I did fuck I, his Everyone personality. fucked my personality. Ouch. Uh, but, I but didn't, seriously. for the record. I, I didn't do it. But seriously, no, like, I'm sorry. Like, people would say that. be like, oh, you got a nice butt. But literally, put on boxer briefs, and now some of the jeans I wear, it's all like, yeah. I'm packed. Yeah, look at that butt. I'm packed. It lifts it up. It lifts it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's literally, it you puts a bra on your butt. What, you know what will set off a dude's ass? It's wearing dickies. No. No. Uh, no. 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 You look like you got PVC pipes for lips. Uh, and you wear <laughs> I'm talking about the shorts. That's yeah. even worse. Now, hold on. I true story. <laughs> like you bought your lower half at Home Depot. Somebody on, skipped leg day <laughs> on the <laughs> memorial. <laughs> story. Hey, I used to wear dickies. I did too. I wear dickies. Yeah. Okay, okay, wait, let's be real. When was the last time you wore dicky shorts? Uh, oh, hold on. Years after high school. Yeah, I was gonna say twenty. I had some women take a picture of my ass in a bar while wearing dicky shorts while I was waiting for a drink. So they were they were were probably pretty drunk, huh? Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Were they actually even standing up still at that point? I'm not even sure they were chicks. So (laughs) So you were pretty drunk. That was my next question. They were plumbers. Uh, yeah. they were, and they were, they were actually photographing some damage that was next to the bar. But, you know. We just made a real connection. <laughs> Mario, I'd like to go through his part. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, 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 hey you take a picture of my butt? And they're like, no. The damage over here. I'm like, cool. <laughs> All right. Well, you I'm should. I'm just here. I'm just going to pose. It's hey, fun. man, I like your trade. <laughs> <laughs> Are we uh, talking trades? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I, I think I think that's a perfect moment. Uh, we're gonna take a short break, and regroup, and I'm gonna realize what the fuck did I do with my life? Uh, <laughs> but before we go, uh, of course, our a, our musical break is gonna be brought to you by uh, Amazon.com. You go to the Amazon. You don't go to Amazon. You go to the Sasquatch.net. Click on that Amazon banner and shop like you normally do. We get a little taste of you do, and of course, a little bumper. From Eric, and then Matthew's going to hit you with some sweet, sweet jams. Hey, everybody. Eric here to tell you about a special promotion my charity, Comic Care, is running. running. We are up for a challenge, and we need your support. At Comic Care, we spend all year traveling to hospitals and collecting smiles from children and their families, and leave comic books behind to keep the smiles going. Well, now we want to see your smiles, and we want to post them on our pages, too. This July 20th, 23rd, we will bring Arizona Tony Stark to the San Diego International Comic Con and take on one of our biggest challenges yet. We will have, we will four, have four days to collect, collect as many, many pictures, pictures as we can of smiling, smiling supporters, supporters with, Tony. with Tony. How many, How many can we collect? 100? 300? 500? We'll run, we'll run for the 1,000 mark, 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 you never know. know. Will you will pledge, pledge a couple, a couple of pennies for each photo we collect? collect? Just, just think, think, if you if pledge, pledge just two cents, cents per picture and we collect 100 photos, your donation will be $2. If we collect 1,000, $20. Either way, way, a small price price to pay to be part part of our our continuing continuing mission. mission. We appreciate appreciate all your support support in the past, and we know you you enjoy enjoy being a part of this adventure. adventure. So please please visit comicare.org slash 1000 smiles. That's C-O-M-I-C-A-R-E dot org slash 1000 smiles. Visit our page, page, click that pledge button, button, and throw us a couple of cents per smile. smile. You're free to put a cap on your donation so it doesn't get out of hand just in case Tony gets crazy crazy and gets 10,000 smiles smiles, you don't have to worry about getting nuts. nuts. Just Just visit visit our page page at comicare.org slash 1,000 smiles smiles and make your pledge today. today.
problem, man. Let me talk to me a girl. After two months, this is what they say to me. Uh. Big chains, bars, cars, and diamond rings. My only problem is I treat my girls like anything. I treat them like the air. I don't really care. Treat them like the dirt. Don't care if they get hurt. Don't put in no work. They call me Mr. Jerk. I say that too bad. They look at me all sad. They say things like I'm gonna be a bad dad. What you done to me? Someone one day, I wonder who it is Along with she's chung, I'm ready to have kids But up until then, it's me pad and pen I love these girls, but they don't understand I know I'm a man, but not ready to be your man So you just stay in my link and I'll do what I can What you done to me? Why can't get proof to you? What am I supposed to do? Babe, this is nothing new. Told you from the start. Don't wanna play with your heart. Didn't wanna listen to me. Now you're crying on the telephone. Look, I leave you alone. I raise your number from my phone. I told you I just wanna bone. Look, babe, all I wanna do is just ask. All I wanna do is just come. Don't you talk to me. Galaxies, will it ever be you and me? 
She would say, yeah, I did coke and that, open the bar. That was the best, like, segue uh, back into the show is all like, yeah, my grandma's did coke. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> so, Thanks for the warning for the recording. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, uh, cocaine is a hell of a drug. Um, <laughs> cocaine. No, my, my, uh, my wife's aunt, my, so, uh, my aunt-in-law, Aunt Jan, and my mom bonded at oh. my wife's father, my father-in-law, wedding that was like three weeks ago they bonded over the fact that they used to do blow in mm. the bathrooms in oakland bars well Damn. sometimes it makes it go wrong hey 
You never make the world go round. You never know what connection. You That's make. why we invented glory holes. Anyways, um, yeah. I thought we already discussed <laughs> that we were supposed to stay away from those because it's not safe. I don't know. I've never. This is so it. hard to stay away from. Every day's a surprise. I know. I'm you're, just trying to be like your so like PSA while I'm still mostly sober. Hey, actually, I'm not really mostly sober anymore. So I'm just gonna be your PSA and. Do the right thing, guys. No, just, no I'm, I'm just going to say this. So, are you now? So, we're yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, like you were saying before, like, uh, you know, doing the internet dating and stuff, how many dick pics you got, you have no idea with a, like, women, yes, you get berated by dick pics, but you have no idea what it is for a man to go into their own restrooms and sit in a stall and then that worry that you're going to sit there and a foot's going to come over and tap on your foot and be like, you ready to party? <laughs> No, here's the thing. <laughs> For those of us who have sent dick pics. Wait, so I have to ask my husband who's sitting across from me, has this happened to you? He does have like I've never said it. I've never sent a dick pic, period. I don't mean the dick pic. I'm talking about... Let alone been in a bathroom stall. I'll tell you. Take the dick pic. I sent the dick pic. pic and be propositioned. <laughs> no, what happens... Wait, is... so have you been propositioned not mid-dick pic? Because, I mean, you just made that clarification that yeah, mid-dick yeah. pic. So now I have to be curious. I mean, I mean, I just wanted to very okay. specifically... Okay, but so unspecifically have you been propositioned. I mean, I feel like I need to know yeah. this is your wife. Well, I mean, lately... Wow. Wow. Uh, I was gonna, wow. <laughs> the things you learned about your husband on a podcast. Well, I was going to say, what happens is the... Derek's wife, Matthew's wife, don't come on the podcast. Never Actually, Megan's already been on. Yeah, she's been on. Okay, don't come on now. Well, I was going to say, is the problem is, is he gets the proposition, and then they're like, shut up, Wesley. Okay. Bye. <laughs> 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 All right, Pat. Have a, have a Bye, good Pat. One. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. And on the dick pic note. I'm yeah, on the dick pic notes. Uh, <laughs> this, this like, Matthew, podcast we... has been really dick-centric. I... Well, that's, that's America. No, it, it is going to be honest. I mean, really, it really has. Like, I'm a little bit, like, I feel like I'm at a sausage fest. Like, maybe even the title of this post or this bl- podcast needs to be The Sausage Fest. We have spent probably a significant portion talking about dicks. I, talk, talk. I'm, yeah, I'm going to be yeah. honest. Exactly. So I've, I've been doing the podcast for going on, what, four years now? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, every iteration of the podcast, <laughs> dicks have always been present. And it's called Cock Talk. Steve was gracious enough to probably three, four weeks ago to make us that lovely tune of Cock Talk. <laughs> but... <laughs> that shit's gone viral. But... Cock talk has been no, it has. from the start <laughs> when I came on the show. Yeah. And maybe it's me that brings it on. I don't know. I think dicks are hilarious. Oh. Dicks are a way of life. Same Z's. <laughs> you know? I'm very comfortable with as my a, sexuality. As a I, woman, I'm I jealous I don't whatever. have one. Like oh, well, uh, you I guys get great. you hey. guys get in dad with way cooler like features than girls do. I'm hey. sorry, oh, yeah, like do. absolutely we do. Well, it's like man standing up to pee, winning. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> I have to sit. If I'm tired, I can Make sit down to pee. Also, one. if you are tired, you can sit okay. down to pee as well. Yeah, but when you guys yeah, go to like a like truck stop bathroom, <laughs> like on the way to Disneyland, and you're in freaking what's that town, Blythe. When you're in Blythe at a scary gas station, yeah, we've been thank Blythe. God you guys don't have to sit down. I have to, like, do You gotta that. hover. I gotta <laughs> hover so that, like, my butt doesn't touch the seat because God knows what you're getting in Blythe. Yeah. No, the worst thing we have hover. to do is smell it. That's it. Yeah, your, like, your, 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 your bathrooms are way more foul than girls' bathrooms. Even uh, like, Debatable. No, debatable. Uh, Very debatable. I guarantee you the bathroom at my work... The men's bathroom is way more clean than the women's oh, bathroom. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to agree with that one because oh, I I, I, I've, I've heard the horror stories already at my work. Yeah, I've heard it too. That's the only reason I say oh, it. See, I, I like, work from home, so I get uh, my own bathroom. Well, your well, shit. Well, I'm yeah, sure your shit's pristine. Oh, okay, okay. So <laughs> I mean, it. I'd be privileged <laughs> to take a shit in your place. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie. If, you, if I ever come up to your place, I will take a shit in your house. I used to I, work at... Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, oh, I can say you're making... You have a valet in there. You can get some mint. <laughs> to hand you a towel. <laughs> he gives me a slip. He's like, uh, when you come out, just let me know. I'll get you my... I'll get your stuff. <laughs> right over that, man. He, he, also, he also has you a ticket. He's like, this is for one free, uh, you cocktail. know, uh, cocktail. So, hey, I'm not going to lie. I... I, I those cocktails I take shits 
everywhere. I took in a shit in your you know, house. I don't. I don't. I, shit in, I, don't, I take a shit in your house. Matthew, Matthew, I'm gonna. I, I know it's your house. house. I like to take shits. All right. I, don't I take, take shits. Offense to that. Like you gotta Good. go. You oh, gotta. I, I like, here's the thing. You gotta yeah. go. You gotta go. Damn right. You gotta go. I never took a shit in a public place until I was probably 27. That's because you were like, no shit. Yeah. Wow. Like it, was, it was way into adulthood. Dude, the, la- the last company. So where, where did you pop your behind? In? Yeah, where, yeah, where did you pop your behind? <laughs> it was yeah, Where did you pop your behind? Yeah, I popped you, my behind. That was a funny <laughs> story. <laughs> so much good night, everybody. I've got a perfect answer for that. <laughs> that was fucking amazing. I'm seriously like. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like really. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Matthew is hold on. dying right now. I wish like we had some video on this. Really, because he's literally... I'm really on Matthew is dying right now. And now I'm kind of pissed because I'm all like, I've not made Matthew die like this. Uh, shit. I popped my behind like... while at work at Cox Communications. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> Cox popped your behind. <laughs> I told you. I told you. We weren't done. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Finn. I'd like to thank everybody for joining us. This evening. No, oh my gosh! Uh, dude. That would have been the well. I would. I want to say it's a high note. But it's really the the low note. Shit talk. Yeah. Shit talk. Dude, <laughs> they're gonna make a new drop. The last company I worked for, we had an office in Mesa, which I was based out of, before we moved up to Scottsdale for a while. Drop it like it's hot, buddy. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. There weren't many males in. The company. Good for you. So I had a bathroom pretty much all to myself. Oh, that's awesome. that's I had magazines in there. I like I had all this shit. I was like, I made this my, I made this shit my own, you know? Um and then they moved it up to Scottsdale and I was like Scottsdale. It was the hardest thing to say goodbye to the bathroom. <laughs> I was like, You and I We've been such good friends. Right? Matthew was like having his old like like the, when the a, a series ends like credit thing with the bathroom. It's all like, nee, 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 nee. and he's all like, as the door closes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like on Friends. I don't know why you're doing friends. Mash, but that's all right. Well, Mash is you know more. No, I think you're better with Friends because the last shot of Friends was a door. So like. <laughs> He so, just sees the, like the door close and it's like the men's bathroom. Right over saw that. So friends was on in my house the other day. <gasps> yeah, and it was uh when <laughs> it was the episodes when they went to uh they went to like fucking Jamaica or some shit for the oh uh, yeah yeah the for paleontologist. the paleontologist bullshit yeah oh yeah it's and like huh this is Jennifer cool. Aniston and Jerry finally like. Which didn't last long. Oh, well, you know, they finally, like, kissed and shit, and and Ross was all about, um... The black chick. Yeah. Oh, was it? Is that Aisha Tyler? Yeah, Aisha Tyler is the voice of, uh... Lana Archer. Archer, yes. Did you see this recent video about why Ross was the worst guy? I have oh, seen I it, and oh, Ross, my God. like, like honestly, like Ross really did need to end up with Rachel, but at the same time, he's such he a was pussy. the biggest jerk he's ever. Such a pussy. We were oh, on a God. break. You need to look at this video, like go. Uh, it's like Ross. What's his no, name? Uh, what's his, what was oh, David Schwimmer. Ross, what? Oh, I don't Geller. know. It was Geller. 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 It was like why Ross Geller was the worst guy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just video clips of him just being a shitty dude. Just yep. shitty and insecure. He really was a jerk, like, the whole show. Like, uh, I, don't want, I don't understand well, why you're going to make me uh, upset. Uh, well, I'll just put it this way. Uh, 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 you, you break it up with me? It's like, uh, fucking... We were on a break! I put a fucking sentence in everybody. <laughs> like, I'm like, you sit there going, like, how... It's all like, I understand why uh, Jennifer Anderson ended up with Brad Pitt. How... Rachel ended up with him. No fucking clue. I really kind of wanted Rachel to end up with Joey. I wanted Rachel to end up with like me. it never was gonna That's happen. But like, uh, uh, you do it. Uh, you Still, do but it. like, yeah. Still. Okay, well, I will say this though. I did. I did uh, talk. I did pretty much put together the best. Like, if you wanted to do a spinoff series, like Cheers did with Frasier. I wouldn't have picked Joey. I would have actually done Monica and Chandler as a spinoff because they moved and went to the suburbs. I'm like, you had so much other stuff to I work with. I would have gone with Phoebe because Phoebe that. and yeah. her husband yeah. were oh, yeah. like, a little bit more interesting. I mean, okay, you she, say that, but let's think about it. Why would, this Consuela banana hammock. Why, why does everybody want... But yeah, but you, if you did that... I would. Yeah, okay, Thank yes. Thank you. Yes, okay, uh, yeah, that's fine. All right. 
Paul Rudd. That's I fine, but, but let's say this. Okay, fine. Yeah, we put Paul Rudd, then they get sick of him somebody. Guess what? We don't get Ant Man, so fuck that. I don't know. Cause what? It, it wouldn't have lasted Dude, that this long. Was like I mean, so long on. ago. Doesn't yeah, matter. even the Joey spinoff was like way long ago. Paul Doesn't Rudd matter. Rich has still... got another new one, which I haven't watched yet. Paul Rudd looks exactly. We, like we all know that. Wait, is another that suburbs one? are fertile ground for sitcoms. Yeah, look at fucking Raymond. You know, everyone loves uh, Raymond. Ah, uh, you know. It, he fucking had my like, what? Ten se- no one did, but he had ten seasons, so he did better than my show. <laughs> yeah, he did have ten seasons. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. I'm still a fan of yeah. fucking Tim Man. Tim, I like that show. I like that show. You know what I mean? Hey, Walter Home Improvement was legit? I'm sorry, go ahead. That, 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 uh, everybody loves Raymond. The, the grandparents or his parents were like exactly my grandparents. So oh, yeah? I love that show. You can yeah, I was, I was oh, pretty absolutely. sad and crushed when Royal died. Oh yeah, 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 no. That was that was pretty crushing. Like he was on an episode of X Files too. I'm like trying to brace myself because like I know like a few people that I really care about oh, yeah. are gonna die. Like oh, yeah. Mel Brooks is like right on up there. Like he's on borrowed time. Let's be when, honest. Oh, Sean yeah. Connery when and Patrick, Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen. Like I'm on like watch for those guys. I'm like okay guys, where are you? What are you doing? Fucking like Betty White. Yeah. Oh, Betty White. She's never gonna die. die. Oh shit. <laughs> Betty White is gonna die, and it's gonna be a hard fucking hit. No, no, this is the yeah, problem, Bobby. Matthew. Yeah. No, yeah, Betty White is going to die, but this is the problem. Though. When she finally dies, we're gonna be at a point going like, oh wait, she's, she, she just died. Like it's gonna well, be a no. Gonna, I won't. I'll be like, it's gonna be so <laughs> far into the future that you're gonna be like, it, okay, because you know why, hey, Matthew? Matthew? People are still dying right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know why, Matthew? Because prime example, Don Knotts passed away, and I was like, oh shit. He was still alive. <laughs> not gonna lie. I, mean, I literally thought he was dead. No, who was the guy? Who was the comedian who just died? And I literally thought the same thing. Like I had that same. Oh, thought. that was um. The guy he was it. He was. The, he plays Mr. Potato Head. Yes, I know exactly yes, what you're talking about. That um, guy. Uh, Martin. Cheers. No. Um, no, no, no. no was on Cheers. Rickles. Don Rickles. Don Rickles. I oh, literally. I'm not even lying. I thought he was already dead. No, I knew he wasn't dead because he just it was all like, oh, there's a Toy Story 4. He's in that. Um, no, and plus he was just also on Conan, but he was not like – I don't well, – actually, no, it wasn't Conan. The last time he was on, I think, it was like Jimmy Fallon or even Jimmy Kimmel. But, like, you saw him on there, and you're like, okay, yeah, he's 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 going to go. He's going to go soon. Um, like, But it's still great. Yeah, because I think it was like a couple of weeks ago I just watched like the tribute to him, and I'm like, that man still – Fucking genius. Like, I love the story that uh, Frank Sinatra talks about. Did you guys ever get to see that when he was talking about it? Oh, it was great. So Frank Sinatra's on Johnny Carson. He's talking about, like, he's like, yeah, so Don Rickles is at a table. You know, I'm at this restaurant. He's like, hey, yo, Don, I'm trying to impress this girl and stuff like that. Could you stop by, you know, and say hi, you know, because she doesn't believe that, like, I know you're one none. You know, um, him being who he is, he's like, yeah, no problem, I can do that for you, Don, and everything like that. So he's like, yeah, so I come on by and everything like that. He's like, oh, hey, Don, and then Don literally goes, hey, ho, ho, can you see I'm not eating? I'm on a date, come on, give me a break here, and stuff like that. <laughs> and it's like, that's fucking genius. Like, I'm sorry, like, right. I'm like, that's awesome. So, I heard that story before. Did you tell this on another podcast, or did I hear this from someone else? You either heard from someone else, because I think... Cause I, I've heard this story before. Well, it was like, they did have this huge pretty, tribute of, like, all the stuff they did. But it wasn't... Um, it wasn't Don Rickles tribute because I didn't watch a lot of those. Well, no, it was literally it was literally one video of just all like stuff, uh, just like talking about big things and stuff. Because he just like I think like it was probably the show I think right before uh, your kid was born. Um, it might have been that one or a week oh, prior really? to that or whatnot. But I remember like we literally like you came oh, over. Yeah. yeah, you came hey, over, baby, because you came over and I was all like, you're like you're not playing Zelda. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm watching this right now because I was if, prop two fifteen. Um, <laughs> 2.015? Is that Well, technically 2.15, but I... It's 2.05, but we're not. Let's be honest. I'm three sheets to the wind. So, anyways... Um, <laughs> I'm like, it's, it's, when do it's I need to go? It's 2.05, but it's 10 minutes late. <laughs> no, no, no. There's... Uh, no, Virtual's we... favorite number is 15. Boom! Oh! Hey! I'll put it this way. With the tablecloth... With the tablecloth with the table cloth that's on your... Uh, on the table right now, Arcade Bros is, is a... Is a podcast that uh, another member of the network mentioned <laughs> instead, of, Get gaming. instead of Prop 205 in their area, it's Prop 215. So, um, that's what I, I like 215 better than 205. I was like, ah, oh, 15 is so much yeah, cooler. 15 is so, a great number. But so that's why. Would have been nice. But uh, if you heard it from this podcast, awesome, cool. If not, uh, it's a story that's out there or something like that. So, there was a huge tribute. So, 
Uh, but yeah, I thought that was just funny with uh, with that. Yeah. Was just like, Speaking of it. tributes, did you see the Carrie Fisher tribute for at Star Wars Celebration? Yeah. Oh my God, I cried. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's... Like, man, that'll punch you right in the feels. Like the day she died, I was a mess. I literally like cried like the whole day. Like. No, and I don't. And I don't blame any everybody for that. Like that. That to me, like I. I Recording another like podcast and everything like that, but I think Kevin Smith was talking about. It. It was like that was like one of like the big like impact of like yeah, a woman doesn't have to be this helpless person. Like she was like, no, give me that fucking gun. I'm gonna kill some. Like she was yeah, a role like, model. She was a for perfect people, role model. Like, for people our age, exactly, like Princess yeah. Leia was like who you looked up to. Mm-hmm. Like I remember like my mo- my hair was long enough and my mom did like the hot braid stuff oh, yeah. and my hair was long enough to do that and i thought it was so cool and i had ewok stuffed animals so i was the business and, and I, I mean, like i, I mean was beyond like even just yeah, the characters yeah. that she played it was just the frankness and and forthrightness that yeah that she, she had. didn't give a fuck honestly she was like one of the few who just she, she was just care. honest she was like honest yeah. about who she was and she knew who she was mm. and she was like upfront about that mm. and she didn't sugarcoat mental illness she didn't sugarcoat the crap going on in her life mm-hmm. and she was honest about it and i think like a lot of people just respect that no and i, and I think that's a, that was a great life you know like all that kind of stuff that she did and stuff like that so it's just like it's just kind of funny how like so many people like would be like you know it, which is really funny how nerdum is like really huge right now and the fact like when that movie came out to show that impact that like it's like yeah women you can do whatever you want kind of thing it's all like it took that long for like people to be like oh yeah she was a good room model like kind of thing it's just it's it baffles me sometimes just how people you know work as that's why i think it's funny because i know uh i'm not sure her it's somebody i know but not really but it's like they're they're like oh, i can't believe they're making like the new star wars about you know like a female and stuff i'm like i don't see what the problem is not me either why it's, not like, like, like so there's no issue whatsoever well, well, that's what i'm saying know, i'm like and actually like, like I mean, from a storytelling standpoint it makes perfect sense because like star wars itself like the tri- the original trilogy was about Luke and his growth and his mm-hmm. development. So why not have the next, like, you know, I don't acknowledge the prequel, so we're not going to go yeah. there. What? Um, no! I hear rumor that there was, like, a first three movies made that, like, you know, some guy was in and Natalie yeah. Portman was a part of. and uh, Actually, no, I, don't know. I, I figured like, it out. It was basically so um, it was before YouTube. Um, somebody decided, oh, I'm going to make this, like, fan film, and that's what it was. So, <laughs> yeah, so. um Either way, we don't acknowledge but, this. But, but the in, next in, three in that movies, same like, vein, like there's the the Ghostbusters movie recently, and at first I was like, "Why are you doing this?" And then I watched it, and I'm like, "Why not?" Mm-hmm. There was no reason not to. It worked. It was great. It did. Did it, you enjoy it? Yes, I, did. I liked it a lot. It was, it was a, super fun. It was no, fun. fun. Exactly. Yeah. I don't think it yes, needed to like, be women like for Spangler's, the sake of the the character that was the Kate uh, McKinnon. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hilarious. Oh, she, oh, she was great. Right. She's hysterical and It's funny Hope's because good. like Hope's as good. a yeah. as Hope's a woman, you know, awesome. I looked at it and I was like, okay, well, like I get that they're trying to be like empowering, but why? Like, what's the point? Like, you're trying to make a political like point of view just for the sake of it. But then when I watched it, and I, as I watched more trailers before it came out, right. I got really excited about. They did a good job presenting it as a movie as, on its own yeah. versus just making. Ghostbusters with chicks. Exactly. And so, like, I was like, okay, wow, I'm glad my initial thoughts were wrong because this was a really damn good movie. Like, so good. Like, the fight scene at the end. Oh, yeah. my God, I love that. Kate when McKinnon, they're in Times Square. Kate like, McKinnon with yeah. her dual wheels. I was like, dude, I want to be her. <laughs> so cool. And, like, the revolutionary soul, like, the ghost. Oh, my God. Oh, in, oh, like, yeah. Straight and, battle like, scenes. I, everything about that movie. It was like, super cool. I loved cool. the tributes. I loved the Harold Ramis oh, tribute. Oh, that was perfect. Uh, like, like, the, I love the, the, breast the bust. Yeah, yeah. the bust. The like, bust. <laughs> the, the breast statue. I'm looking for your ego. Like it was just so. You know, ego. This reminds me of the last, the, the one time you tried to give yourself breast. In- <laughs> I was fucked by <laughs> librarian. I'm not gonna say. Like, ego, I, like, I, I would have gotten away with a two. Everything about it was me. just so good, though, and I loved like. How like Chris Hemsworth was like the oh my fifty God, dude, was so and it was so funny. Like I was like, oh. I loved when they and Melissa McCarthy. 
McCarthy. Yeah. I love her. I'll she was, I she, she was her perfect. Kristen Wiig. Like those two. Kristen Wiig is hilarious. We'll, we'll, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. So uh, Matthew, Matthew knows this, but a lot of people might know this on the podcast. I'm a, I'm a huge Ghostbusters fan. So much that oh, like Ghostbuster. No, no. All right, Ghostbusters. Yeah, I, I, those, <laughs> they brought the cartoon okay, back. Go, on stop, go, go, Netflix, go. Oh my god, it's on the watch list. Don't it's comment, just go. Netflix. No, I had to comment. Yes, don't, don't, don't make this be horror cast where I get stifled. Um, <laughs> no, no, that wasn't even a plug. That was, <laughs> that was, that was Wait, just, that was did he stifle plug. you? I no, no, not, no, 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 we'll oh, talk about this later. Okay, um, I apologize if we stifle No, 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 you. no, we'll talk about this later. Uh... No, huge Ghostbusters fan. So yes, Jenny McCarthy, I am not a big fan of. <laughs> Jenny McCarthy, <laughs> Megan. No. Well, she was no, in the. I'm not a fan of her in the nineties. I was. I liked her in Single. That was kind of hard. Hey, I'm Chris, going... if you're listening to this, San Diego Comic Con, Geeks Who Eat will be there. I want to meet you. House of a Thousand Corpses, guys. No, right, Jenny McCarthy. No, no. The only thing that she was funny in, I was like basketball because I liked the South Park people and stuff like that. Then you have uh, Melissa McCarthy, and I've not been a big fan of her. See, Matthew, think I oh fucked up. I, I did not fuck her. up. I love her. Melissa McCarthy, not a big fan of her. I was like, ah, okay. Then they threw her in the movie, and I laughed about it. I'm like, I love Christian Wig. I love uh, all the people like Chris Hemsworth. I love all these people that are in there. I'm like, I don't know about Melissa McCarthy because anything that I've seen her in, she's always playing. To me, I was like, oh, what are you, the female Chris Farley? I was like, but you, you know what? Bridesmaids? I mean, I've not seen Bridesmaids. This oh my god! Thing, right? She was hilarious and spy. Watch the movie. No, this is the problem though. People have overhyped Bridesmaids for me, so I have a feeling if I go okay, to see it, I'm just right. gonna be like. Melissa yeah. McCarthy is better in movies where she is the star versus just the comedic relief. Like, I really love the movies where she is the primary person, like spy and then there's another one of those movies where like identity identity theft, identity theft. Oh, that yeah. one was fun. yeah that one was fun don she, budgie i didn't see that her name was don budgie yeah. what's uh, not hilarious about don like, budgie she, there was some one with her and bill murray i forget what it was called it was oh, like i would say vincent but that's Seven. like that's, oh, I didn't see no that. i know it's a serious but my parents yeah, it's, a nice a, it's just, good it's no, my, super good that's the but thing she's, my, my she's parents said it was funny good. when she's carrying the movie, not when she's just like the comedic relief to other things and that movie going she plays on. A serious role. But she yeah. was she was kind of comedic relief in, in Bridesmaids, and I thought she was the best character in that that movie. I didn't. I, I've only seen part of Bridesmaids, oh and like I love Bridesmaids. I didn't think it was hilarious. Like I don't know. When I, she corners the dude by the bathroom. She throws her leg on the wall and she's like, you feel that steam heat? <laughs> oh, that's, coming, that, that's coming from my undercarriage. Is that the <laughs> I fucking died. And that's her husband. She, 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 and really, and really, she like, generally is pretty funny. And <laughs> like, I, I really... from my undercarriage. Like, on Ghostbusters, though, I really thought she did a fantastic they job. All, honestly, they Every all did. Them. They it all was did. the all perfect, perfect casting. I thought the visual effects, when they were in... I loved them! When they were oh. in like the... the at the very beginning, where you have the like schoolyard chick, and like she comes up the stairs and she comes out and she's got that dress on and she's like holding that book and she just looks. I was like, oh my god! I loved their ghost effects. Like, yeah, I, they were great. I thought that we like, they used of that black yes. light look was amazing. Yes. Dude, it was yeah. so it. freaking good. We went and saw it and like in the theater and like when she came out the door. For a split second, I was like, oh, that's creepy as fuck. <laughs> and then, like, it happens, and you're just like, what? And then, you know, she pukes it all was, over. It but, like, literally was like they upgraded the effects in the original Ghostbusters and made them, like, a little bit more vibrant, and it was awesome. Yeah. Everything about it was so cool. Like, I Leslie loved the, Jones was great. Oh, like, I she loved, kills me. I well. loved Dude. the end of that movie. Like, the fight at the end with Ronan and, like, all of the other stuff. Like, so per- – it was, like, everything I wanted – and then the soundtrack on that movie was amazing, too. Right? Uh, I'm going to disagree on that. R- what? Okay, what? but hear me out. No, hear me out. <laughs> okay. Songs on it are fantastic. But uh, we talked about this. I go, I go, the only problem I have with the soundtrack, because I have it on Spotify, I go, no, I, no, yeah, and you agree with me. People will agree with me when I say this. A lot of the songs on it, fantastic. Love it. I think it's a great album. But I'm like, why do we need so many renditions of the Ghostbusters song? Okay, I agree. I did not yeah. care. That, I did not care. I forgot that we talked that about that. That was my only I did not yeah. care for the, the Ghostbusters like remix, but the L. King song that they used was killer. Yes. So mm. good. And it was perfect yes. in that, like, it was just. 
It was so perfect. Like, there's certain ones that they did that I was like, yeah, I like this track. Cause I'm like, but literally, I'm like, I'm so mad. I'm like, yeah, I really like the soundtrack because I added a shit ton of those songs in there. But I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm like, don't get me wrong. I like the Ghostbusters theme, but there's a lot of the same song on there. And I was all like, you might want to just like be like, we so like we this one and this one. Sequel? Like, do you think they're going to do another this one? This is the problem. That was like a one shot. No, no, like, this is the problem. They were planning the on a franchise. They were, like, how they ended the movie, they were kind of tying it into the old mythos, and I was super excited, especially, like, look, the movie's been out for almost, like, it would probably be a year within June or, or July. But I'm like, uh, how that ended with the, like, yeah, who's, uh, who's Zool? And I was like, oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. Apparently, I, according I, to Sony, no, there is not going uh, to be a sequel because uh, Sony I, felt I, like it didn't meet. The, and I'm like, you know what? You said the same thing about your fucking Spider-Man movies. Yeah. So I, fuck I, off, Sony. I this think, is why PlayStation 4 sucks. I, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Man, when, you, when, you're in, when you're in band and they, they put the sheet music for the Ghostbusters theme in front of you, you're like, this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I fucking love that, and that's why. That's, that's, that's why. That's why I love. That's why I love that the real Ghostbusters cartoon show is now on Netflix. And I, I'm not gonna just, lie, I was just, so yeah, they just like, added it. I'm one of those few people that I love Slimer. Like in the cartoon, Slimer was my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Like I love Slimer, and the fact that they put Slimer back into this movie, like, and they gave cool. him a little girlfriend. I was like. It's been long it, enough. It was Look. a little slimette. Like, yeah, it was super slime cute. It. Slime it. Yeah, that's but I loved Slimer, and I was pissed when they re-released Ecto Cooler. That and you didn't get it? No, actually, yeah, I, have, I still have cans at yeah, home. Have, what? You have cans on the I kitchen counter. I have cans on the kitchen counter. I wow. Don't, no, don't. How many? I, don't. Bought, I probably have, like, four, mm, four or five uh. left. We did an Ecto Cooler one. cocktail on the set. I didn't, yeah, we did you a review of Ecto Cooler. She said she'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. You want one? You have no idea. We, yes, yes, I was you do. Yeah. Okay, exactly. <laughs> yes. Yes. I will say it's a can, not a juice box. I couldn't find the juice box. I don't care that's fine. I don't care about the juice box. We're not going to drink it. Do you know that the cans, do you know that the cans changed colors? Shit. Yeah, they do. And Here's the thing. Stick them in the fridge. I will call the show. I'm just We're done. We're going. We're leaving. We're well, going now. I need well, some ecto fucking I'm crap. I'll, I'll put it I this will, way. I will text you when I get home, or maybe tomorrow when I'm sober. That's fine. I will look to see how many cans. I may have enough to give you guys all one. I don't. I have to double check because I, I was pawning them off on people. I was like, I need these off my counter. Oh, my God. I, I, okay, I'll, 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 here. Yeah, I'll put it this way. So when the Echo like, Cooler came out and advertised, I looked everywhere for it, couldn't find it, stuff like that. People listen to past episodes of B-Horrorcast that will understand my stress. When that fucking ad came up on Facebook – now, literally, I don't rant and rave mm, like on Facebook. What? I ran to rave on podcasts, but not on Facebook. I don't like really show like passion of like like what the fuck kind of thing. Like it's been a while since I've done that. <laughs> when they fucking literally sent the advertisement of like, oh, Ecto Cooler, it's going away. Get it before it's gone. I was a little like, I was like, fuck you, hi, C. Do you it's know where never I got been them? Fucking any uh, Amazon. 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 Yep. Yep. So that's the problem. I was going to do Amazon. They're like, you need a Prime membership, and I was like, fuck off. So now, from now on, when you need something on Prime, you just call me because we have Prime, <laughs> and you let me know that you need it. Yeah, I don't because, know. Because like certain things, I because I, I want <laughs> next day, but I don't want you to know what I want next day. Well, no, like we we do Prime because like a we like Prime Ta-ta. we like Prime Video we like oh Amazon no yeah video. yeah so that's like. He uses Amazon Music, so like it already like pays for yeah. itself in just those two things. Oh man, it's it's like the deal of the century. But no, we, we yeah. order stuff all the time on Prime, like all the time. Like okay, I'm so true story. We we get stuff from Amazon so often that the guy down like two apartments down ordered something on Amazon and the guy delivered it to us. Oh shit! Amazon must be going here. <laughs> Basically, no, it was, that's, that's it was, no, it was deodorant. It had Dove on the box. It literally was clearly marked that it was not our address. <laughs> you guys are like, what a queer. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, we're not keeping this. Well, yeah. I'm throw it down the staircase. Yeah. <laughs> Just piss the person off. Hey, man, did you remember the track you were thinking about earlier? No, I, I've, you I've, I've, that yeah, I've, I've been racking my my brain try, trying to come up with what it was. Oh, shit, man. So speaking of the Amazon Prime and stuff like that, because I, I know I was able to watch it, and I know it's getting it got picked up. It's going to be released in August. But did you guys watch uh, The Tick? No. Oh, uh, okay. But I think it's – I want to say almost – is this the new one? 
This is the new one. Now, yes, uh, I know Patrick uh, Warburton wanted to come back, and he did want to play The Tick, but, of course, he got picked up for another show, I think, on CBS or something like that, so he's like, he can't do it. He does produce it, though. So I'm like, okay, so the new guy, uh, I don't know the actor's name. I'm going to feel really bad, but he was in, like, Shaun of the Dead. He played the Dick Friend, and then he was also in Gardens of the Galaxy going, like, what a bunch of a-holes. Like, he's playing The Tick. Now, I'm thinking right off the bat, you're like, all right, an English guy, right? No, he does an American accent, and he does it fucking great. Like he's so over it's not like Daniel Radcliffe then, because Daniel Radcliffe can't pull off an American accent. Oh, no, this guy literally he came out. He's all like, "Come on, citizen!" And I'm like, "Oh my god, he's literally trying to do like the the you know the Patrick Warburton kind of thing." I'm like, "All right, first episode is great. It's vi- I'll put it this way: it's a dark comedy because there's oh, parts of it where you're laughing your ass off, but then there's people getting killed and stuff like that, and you're like, holy shit, like, it fucking, like... It, I mean, it, I mean the, the tick was always adult humor. Exactly, and I was like, okay... Well, it's not like adult that was gritty, but, like, adult and that like, was intellectual. It, well, I'll put it this way. The tick is the tick, and basically, like, Arthur's backstory is, like, spoilers alert if you guys haven't seen the, the pilot or whatnot, but it's like, there's a part in it where, like, his dad gets killed because these supervillains attack, like, other people, but literally there's a part in it where they're just, like, blinding people and shooting them, and I'm like, wow, this guy dark really fast then the tick shows up and you're like okay this is great but they literally mimic like the cartoon the comics where literally like guys are hitting him and he's like flicking them and they're flying and stuff like that he's just like walking like it's it's it was perfect so i was glad i was picked up and i was just like okay so i was literally telling people like you need to go check this but then someone said something and i'm like this needs to happen so they did an episode of the tick of the cartoon show the tick versus the tick they need to do that with the new tick versus the patrick warburton tick and i'm like that would be phenomenal uh but i was saying like check it out i want to yeah, that I, would be cool I, that's what i was like i was like that'd be great like why that yeah that'd be super cool I, like I, why not do that i i hope they do. there's like fucking copyright shit you know like or not copyright but like, like the marvel thing <laughs> yeah maybe it's like, like who owns what's like property? marvel owns this tick but warner brothers owns this tick so <laughs> it never okay. happened okay it's the actor's name is Peta. Peter, I'm sorry, Peter. That's like Hunger Games. No, <laughs> Peter. No. Peter. Peter. I can't even pronounce this guy's last name. It's like Sarah Finowitz. Fen- Finowitz. I don't know. He's basically if anybody wants to know who we're talking about, if you literally just he like, was in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. He was Denarian Salt, and he was Pete on Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, basically. He was also Darth Maul in Episode One. Hmm. Oh, not wow. the not the actual guy. He's the voice. Yeah, I think he's, he's, he's listed. The voice. Hold on, I can tell you because I'm pulling it up. Yeah, that's uh, what's his face? The guy who wait, played Toad. Wait, how many lines did Darth Maul have? He had like four, he, four. But this is what happened. So the guy who played I don't know the guy's name. The guy who played Toad in the X Men movies is that he was a stunt for uh, Darth Maul. He basically like I think Eric uh, talked about it all the time where like. He, he basically had his lines, and they're like, no, we're going to dub those. And then when he goes to see the movie, he's like, what the fuck? Like, I'm not even in the film now? Like, <laughs> like thanks. That'd be like telling the guy, like, oh, you're going to be the voice of Jar Jar Binks. And then George, George Lewis is like, no, he's not. He was in Deus yeah. Ex Machina. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, he's just like sitting there in the, in the movie, yeah. you know, with his popcorn, just throws the popcorn, storms out. Well, that was the guy who played Darth Vader. He was like, oh, yeah, I'm totally in this movie. I got my voice in this family. So they're like, that's not you. That's James <laughs> Earl's Jones. He's like, no, I was in the suit. Like, believe me. He's like, fucking. He's like, you know what, George Lucas? I hope your first three prequels fucking suck. Speaking so of Melissa what? McCarthy, though, Six mm. Degrees of Separation, he was Aldo in Spy. Ah, the, there you go, kids. So, um, but yeah, so yeah, I, 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 go ahead and check it out. I'm kind of worried because I like, I don't know. I don't really find anything wrong with anything anymore half the time. Uh, like I used to be very picky, but now I'm like, you know what? If I watch something and I enjoy it, I'm like, it is its job. Dude, I don't so, criticize things anymore. For our life. That's for our life. So I'm very, I'm very worried now because I feel you guys will go home and watch it. Or, <laughs> and some point be like, yeah, that fucking tick thing sucks. So I get frustrated with people who get frustrated with movies. Yeah. It's like when, when, uh. I'm trying to think of the movie. So you talk about Transformers or something along those lines, and they're like, oh, well, that's not realistic. Yeah, well, we're talking about fucking robots that shape themselves in Forget cars. realistic. I just want a so, good movie. Or, or like, 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 I'm not asking for realism. Or, or like, I'm um, asking for a movie you. that I actually yeah. want to watch. And I'm sorry, but Transformers hasn't done that in about five movies. Complaining, so... Complaining about uh, a character Rostrata running in four. high heels while they're being chased by dinosaurs. I'm sorry, but I, as a woman, I, I hey, have to ask. She tore it up. I'm, I, no, she tore no, it up. I enjoyed I liked it. it. Okay, I liked so here's it. the I did thing. Too. Here's the thing. I have, I have this qualm about all of those people who said that. And maybe this is because I'm not a feminist. 
But, like, I'm sorry, what do you expect her to do? Run barefoot in the jungle? Like, have you ever stepped on a stick? That freaking hurts. Or a Lego. Like, like, yeah. yeah, or black palms. Okay, so we're in the middle of hiking in the you middle of... You guys should watch Naked and Afraid. Shit, yeah. that's out and there. And I decided to get brave and go, like, trudging through this, like, little, like, creek river thing that was, like, up to, like, my, like, waist. And so I see a snake. I freak the frick out because I'm like, oh, my God, copperhead, something's going to bite me. I step on a stick. I I don't think anything about it. I go through, get out of the water, and we're putting our shoes and socks back on. And I'm like, oh, gee, there's a giant hole in the bottom of my foot because I stepped on a stick. (laughs) And, you know, when you're in ice cold water, it doesn't hurt. But, like, the second you get out of that water, it hurts. I can't imagine this woman running through a jungle away from dinosaurs and not stepping on a stick. Like, if of course she dinosaur... kept her shoes on. Like, she's not stupid. If hey, a dinosaur is chasing me, I'm running with whatever the fuck's on my feet at the time. Because I'm not, not thinking joke. about it. I'm exactly. not thinking about it. You're not th- you're not Dude, like... if a dinosaur is chasing me, I'm stopping. And I'm going to be like, what kind of dinosaur are you? And they're going to be like, oh, shit, he's any me. Oh, this is rat. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll put it this way. This is, this, this is a perfect prime example with uh, with all that kind of bullshit where people get offended. Like, oh, my God, how is it? Okay. okay. You've already accepted the fact that we brought back fucking dinosaurs. <laughs> But you can't accept the fact that this woman's <laughs> running around the jungle That's in the heels. Always driven We're okay with the crazy. fact that Jimmy Buffett is running away with margaritas. Exactly. And, uh, but we can't, we can't I mean, accept I mean, that she ran he's, through the jungle with heels. He's got priorities straight. Uh, I mean, it's like pterodactyl attack, margaritas. Uh, if, you want, if you want to stomp every, like, discussion about that this is the key thing that i always do everybody's always like well how could this happen so they go well you know there's a very good reason for it because it's a fucking movie <laughs> because, <laughs> because hollywood said so yeah i'm like just fucking enjoy oh oh do you really think i think uh robert downey jr has a fucking suit and flies around as iron man no this is a fucking movie I, for one, believe that Chris Hemsworth um, does come from another planet of no, he beautiful does. people. He's a gorgeous man. Him and his brothers, well... well uh, I'm not a fan of Liam. Oh, and there's another one. You would be yeah, like he's, him. he's hidden I in would shadow. be. Oh, I'm not, I bet you would. No, I'm not that impressed by him. He, I'm not gay and I would be impressed dude, by him. Dude, he bangs uh, Miley Cyrus. I know where she's been, or at least where she's been in public. Hey, and to be I'm fair, not about that life. I'm not experienced. Oh, I don't need that kind of experience. I'll stick with Chris Hemsworth. Hey, for all we know, they're, they're, they're like, hey, hey, why'd you bang with uh, what's no. with Miley Cyrus? It's like, hey, I, I need a part to be crazy. It's Steve. Yeah. Ragnarok! <laughs> oh, Ragnarok! <laughs> all right, so Ragnarok. <laughs> yes. This motherfucker cuts his hair. I don't think he had a choice. I don't have a problem with that. He's and gorgeous. All, oh, no. No, I'm not, I'm not beautiful. mad. I'm not mad at all. We know each other from work. I'm just, fucking into it. I'm no, just having a problem. I know. My and wife's so is into every it. every woman out there. I'm Dude, sorry. He cut I, his hair and you just heard drips. Dude, man. It's just like, <laughs> like, it sounded like a leaky faucet, but it was all like my shit to become. What okay, are you talking about? So it's Dude, literally like, like, okay, did you guys all see Thor 2? Yeah. Okay, yeah, and all the Thor. So this, that scene where I've he like, Thor, where he wipes it down with like the rag and then looks like pensively like out the window. I'm yeah. like, that was really just there for the women. No like, shit. That was you, not, that had no purpose. It was just for me too. He came out of the water. Look at my abs. When you are as beautiful as Chris Hemsworth, you get to do that. But, you uh, can well, do that. Fucking, uh, silver, like, uh, Son of a bitch. Equal opportunity. Uh, cool. Captain America, fucking... Chris the, Evans. What, Chris Evans. Winter Soldier, where he's, like, grabbing the helicopter, and he's, he's like, like, oh, uh, fuck. I can't do that. Oh, I did this. <laughs> no shit, you did this, motherfucker. <laughs> when he first comes out in the first one, how do you feel? Taller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you fucking sick. Nobody who's listening just saw the impression, but just... <laughs> You know, the sex that he you know, I, I, I really play. wish there was a blooper with uh, that scene where he comes out and he's like, how do you feel? He's like, like the human torch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? I will say, like, I appreciate that, like, Marvel, like, chose, like, men 
who are just like really great for women to like want because then it makes it real easy fuck the guys right well no like it makes it real easy for like women to like want to go see like these like movies with their husbands or boyfriends or like dates because it's like because like it's like you get like the guys get Scarlett Johansson running around in her little like skin tight vinyl thank you no and like no she wasn't even you know what she has she has goddess that's what she has that's the sick like you guys get that and I get Jeremy Renner Chris Evans Chris Hemsworth and I guess the whole guy I mean Mark Mark Ruffalo he's not that great looking okay I mean but I'm not like opposed to looking at him uh, okay I'm gonna I'm just gonna pull it back okay Uh, first off all the Marvel characters in the actual comic books do not look as well as they do in the fucking movies I don't know Steve Rogers is pretty good looking Uh, let's put it this way Hugh Jackman who plays Wolverine uh, Wolverine is like five foot like yeah yeah, he's He's like like four foot nothing I noticed I didn't point out I'm just saying I I didn't say Wolverine (laughs) just saying but I mean Patrick Stewart let's Oh, oh let's be real. I'm watching the. I'm watching X Men for Patrick Stewart. Nobody else. Uh, when, when actually, Patrick honestly, Patrick Stewart goes when he finally passes away. I'm gonna be a wreck for a week. No, Patrick Stewart has yeah. one more role to play before he leaves. He needs to be the new. He needs to be Mr. Freeze. <laughs> in the DC Universe. Mm. Yeah. No. Yes. No. No, he's too. No, he's too. He, I see where you're going. Oh no, no. no. Everyone, everyone knows where I'm going, and that's where it's going. No. He, seem, he seems too old. Yeah, you see what's going now, but okay. First off, you put him in the suit. You give him. Okay. But Patrick's. But yeah, Mr. Freeze is an old. Generation. Okay. Yeah, like twenty years ago. He's yeah, it's called, it's called makeup, people. Perfect. Okay. Uh, no, I, no, I disagree. I, I, I'm not. Yeah, I disagree. I'm gonna plus bust. Pat, my, I'm gonna plus, bust out laughing. Bath. It's like yeah, we're gonna Patrick's suit to play no, Mr. Freeze. Not. I'm gonna be like, exactly. out, dude. No, he's not. Yeah. Not yeah. yet. Yeah. He's fucking checked out on that. No, no. He, Let's be real. They're going to do Justice League the fucking... and they're going to stop because it's going to be such a failure compared to Marvel that they're not... No, Marvel... Okay, first off, Marvel is way too overrated at this point. I, I don't disagree, but I feel like but what all DC, all DC is compete? doing is a copying DC? Marvel. Like, if you look at no, every but... DC trailer, it's the same no, they're, standard. They're, they're going to play a classic rock song just like Marvel. They're going to, like, showcase stuff like Marvel does it. I mean, it's they just look at Marvel and they're like, hey, let's copy these movies and try to make it our own. The only thing Justice League has going for it is Jason Momoa in the the water without his shirt on, in the jeans with the combat boots, and looking beautiful. Uh, I will see an Aqua movie. I'm going Aquaman. I... I will support Aquaman, and I will sit there for him. And Nothing you're else. You're but good. Gal Gadot, you're... they got her too. I'll put it this way: she, she, got, you are... she got the whole outfit oh. on <laughs> She said every single piece of that outfit. Steve, I know you're totally, you're totally, you're totally, you're totally, you're totally, you're totally right, Jason Momoa. As soon as they cast him as Aquaman, I'm like, yes, because Aquaman has not been represented very well in anything. He's not represented. Period. Just Let's like the Punisher. Oh. Just like the Punisher. Yeah, Back yeah. it up, but dude, no, no, what do you say? Yeah, right. Thomas Jane. Tom Berenger. Wait, Thomas right, Jane. Wait, wait, why, why, are, why are people not pissed <laughs> off? Wait, why are Thomas people not Jane pissed off that Aquaman is Punisher. being, no, being played? It had a good soundtrack. In a in in a way that's not accurate to the source material. Like why why are people like not pissed off? They're like Jason Momoa. He doesn't look like Aquaman at all. What because the- Aquaman uh. looks sucky. Like let's be real. The guy wears green pants and an orange top. Not hot. He, you have Jason Momoa. He looks the the like I Samoa the Samoan god who's covered in tattoos, looking all six packy yeah, to me. I I, I, <laughs> think, I think he like, makes a better Aquaman, but like 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 what what, like, what, like, what happened to what <laughs> happened to like respecting the source and like. I'll put it this way: they are respecting the source material on Aquaman, and a lot of people are gonna probably be like, "Wait, what? Justice League cartoon show? If you if you remove his tattoos and you also take off make his hair blonde, boom, that's the Jason Momoa Aquaman." Well, here's the thing. I mean, those, those six packs are they're, they're dead. The on. V, it's the V, Matthew. It's the V it's, and the pants. The it's, V that points right <laughs> to the D. Yeah, yeah. Like don't get me wrong. I'm and also, the combat yeah. boots. I'm sorry. Like no, the no. combat, like the whole outfit, Matthew. You're it's, fine. This is Cal Drogo as Aquaman. Thank you. Thank Game you. of Thrones. We all watch Game of Thrones. Yes. I'm, I'm Cal yes. Drogo. This is don't, Cal Drogo. Don't, don't, like don't, Cal, don't mistake me. I'm, I'm I have Cal Aquaman here. I just, I just, I just, this is the mood of my stars. It's a, it's, yes. it's a little hypocritical 
to cast off the old Aquaman to disrespect the source. In fact, you know, in in favor of this like awesome new Jason Momoa. Like, I, uh, you're thinking I, like traditional. I right, understand but it. But at the and same I time, it, Aquaman is generally frowned upon. Yeah, like I he's mean, not popular. I, he's not a I, comic. I'm not like, an Aquaman Aqu- fan. I don't know anyone who okay, really is. Okay, I actually so, like, know a guy who has a site called Steve Hates Aquaman, and he asks artists to draw sketches making fun of Aquaman. Like, yeah. that's, like, how Aquaman is portrayed in society. Like, what you just said is completely accurate. Aquaman, let's be honest, Aquaman is rad. He's a fucking second-hand superhero. Nobody would be so, mad about those powers. You guys yeah. really need to watch fucking play. Jason Momoa in here. Oh, I actually And people are going to be like, who the fuck is Aquaman? Aquaman's going to come in. He's probably going to have his own fucking movie. Let's be honest. Oh, yeah. yeah he has it. Everything's already been cast. Yeah. They found Black Panther. So they're going to have. They're going to be doing it. We're gonna be see- he's playing Mara. Have they announced that? They have oh. not announced that yet. But if I see him fuck, I'm going to be all right. You know, Jason Momoa could be the DC shooter, and people would sign the <laughs> fuck up to show up for that well, movie. I, I'd watch that. Jason Momoa, though, like, he's so good. He, like... There's like everything about him. Not only is he like hot, uh, Frontier. Frontier. Oh, Frontier. Actually, he's a good actor. actor. And like, I don't know if any of you have seen like, there was like this video floating around Facebook. It's like him with his kids and they're like climbing on rocks and being like feral and crazy. And yeah, it was, it was it's like, like a, the most heartwarming. Like, yeah. if my ovaries hadn't already exploded at the Justice League trailer, this video made them just like kaboom. Uh, you know what, because like, you know what did it for me? When my ovaries exploded, <laughs> was when he took the knife. When he just he drank a swig and he just chucked that knife. It was like behind the scenes, and he threw it and hit the target. And I was like, "Oh, Jason, I'm not even gay, but I would." <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> fuck you, like you know, <sighs> don't mind this palisade. <laughs> Give me the pink bullseye. Give me that pink. This is how I live, bro. <laughs> and he's just like there's so much about him that's so interesting. Well, the man, so unique the man actually like... was going to be a professional hockey player and then got injured and then went into acting, which is just like. And you look at the guy going like, this guy could have been a hockey player, like fuck, like I would not want to be like, oh yeah, we're gonna play. Oh, I'm fucked, like kind of <laughs> thing, you know. Uh, but that's what I'm saying. It's like okay, yes, I, I, I disagree with the whole DC thing with the Marvel copying because I'd be like, they're not really copying because. They're not doing a good job at copying. To me, if anything, I'd be like, dude, just take the Marvel formula and put it towards your thing. I feel like Suicide Squad was like DC's version of Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes, and, they and, tried. and I totally they agree tried. with that. Like, they, they really, like, and they did the same thing with the, like, I think it was the, it was either the Justice League trailer or the Wonder Woman, but they, like, they're doing that Marvel thing with the classic rock and, like, you know, the slow motion action scene to the classic rock stuff. And it's just annoying. It's like, do something original. Like, you have good content. Like, there's Man, no I, I doubt. Just, I can just imagine what's going wrong there because they have, they have all the creative people in the room and they don't have, like, a clear voice. So it's, like, it's designed by committee and, uh, it's like, everyone's fighting missing. everyone else. Uh, I, I totally agree with you. What they're missing is basically they need to grab somebody, the guy who pretty much is running the CW stuff, and be like, hey, can you do a movie? Because they're DC, this is what I call it, the DCW shit, like, whether you're not like, oh, well, it's for K-. They're fucking Flash, they're fucking Supergirl, and they're fucking Legends of Tomorrow. I don't touch Arrow because Arrow's just trying to rip off Gotham, Gotham so fuck. No, not Gotham. Gotham's shit. Um, Gotham was in inter- like, it's. Sucked. I'm so behind on Gotham. So, Gotham, yeah, like, I've, only seen, I've only seen I, the first season, and the first season started out strong. Oh, it started out and great. And in, in the middle, it got shitty. You're like, what the fuck happened? And then at the end, it got good again. And you're like, okay. So, like, and then you jump into season two, and you go, oh, okay, fuck, fuck everybody. Oh, I haven't seen season oh, two. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. You start watching season two, you go, oh, okay, so everything. Everybody, no, we have. we've seen season two. Like, no, we you sit there going like, "Oh, I'm a, I'm a Batman Only fan. Like I love all this." Oh, oh, okay. Fuck all you Batman fans. Okay, that's what you. Oh, oh. I feel okay. like DC okay. just right. like really like needs to like they have good stories. No, no, it's not that DC comics are in like subpar to Marvel, no, but their movie making ability just but, doesn't yeah. seem to be there. Like they can't. Batman versus Superman was terrible. I was they so don't. I fell asleep in the movie theater. At the end, when the fight scenes are happening, I fell asleep. I don't like you. Like, <laughs> but your mother's name is Martha. <laughs> We're friends now. Like, exactly. Like, it was just so they just don't get it. Like, they don't cast right. They don't. Well, they don't do anything for themselves. Like, they try to mimic, and it's frustrating because they have great stories. Batman is my favorite comic book. 
I love Batman. I buy everything Batman. I just bought Batman and Judge Dredd and Batman versus Predator, like oh, whoa. like old comics. Yeah, that's, like, that's some good shit. Like yeah. I love Batman. He's my favorite. If I was gonna pick comic wise, I'm a DC girl through and through. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. But Marvel makes better movies. Well, that's I would have said that, that DC has the better characters between Batman and Superman. Like honestly, that's it. Those, Batgirl those was two. amazing. Batgirl, yeah. like, no, I mean, they're great. Superman's not like that. Oh, I love but Flash. If you, just, if you look yeah, at, like, exactly. if you like, read any some Flash comics, they got like, some Flash. Flashpoint is amazing. Flashpoint is like, fucking good. amazing. Flashpoint comic their, series is amazing. If you just look at the, the bottom line, mm. what makes them go? Batman, Super, Superman, Wonder Woman. Yeah. That's it. I, okay. I disagree because people love Batgirl. People love Batwoman. Like, the Batman. The general population. Bat no, yeah. Nightwing. The whole, like, bat, the family. whole bat family is but like. A lot of people don't even know about them. I yeah. don't. Okay. I what? disagree. That, that sounds like their problem. It, like, is, it, it absolutely is their problem. Like, I agree with you that, like, that's Superman, problem. Batman, absolutely. and Wonder Woman are, like, the primary three that everybody knows about. It's, well, they're the triad. Is they're the, the triad, and they call they're it. also the ones marketed at, like, Target. Like, let's be yes. real. Like, if you go to Target, you're not seeing Aquaman stuff. Right. You're seeing Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Oh, just, that's just it. wait. Well, Aquaman's going to have a resurgence. Dude, yeah, I need yeah. that pop. Like, yeah, Aquaman the, is going to have... Jason Momoa pops... People, I need this. I actually have the call drop. But, uh, but uh, I, I was listening to some podcasts, and someone said something that I was like, oh, maybe DC might go this route now. Now, let's put it this way. Yes, Marvel makes fantastic movies, but Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is shit, and their comics have not been doing well. Uh, DC, on the other hand, is kicking ass on their comics, and anytime they make an animated movie, like based off of oh, something they're they animated, animated they're oh, phenomenal. Killing, killing Joke killing. is amazing. And then you got the, then you got the shows. I saw like, that. Yeah. So good. Then you got the shows on. Oh, um, had it, and I, yeah. I was super pumped to watch it. That was when I watched it, too. I thought the ending was pretty abrupt. I think that's kind of how the comic was, though. Really? Really like, yeah. W w did it end with the whole, like, the Joker tells him a joke? Yes. Well, this is the funny part. So, uh, uh, Alan Moore, who uh, who wrote it, uh, there was actually a rumor that Batman actually broke the Joker's neck in the comics. Because there's a part where, like, Batman's laughing, and all of a sudden you don't hear, you don't see the, the word bubbles of the Joker, and you just kind of hear, like, a crack. And that was, like, Batman's way of, like... Is that confirmed? Or? It's not confirmed or whatnot, but it was a have huge, you... a huge rumor on it. Now, I've read the comic, like, multiple times. Like, I own it. I have, like, a trade paperback of it, and I absolutely love it. It's well-written stuff. But, yeah, like, when it comes to that, but every time Marvel shoots out, like, a animated movie, it, they gear it towards kids because it's owned by Disney right. and yada, yada, yada. Yeah, so the movie universe is perfect. Now, someone mentioned this, and I'm not going to take credit for it. I believe it was Kevin Smith on one of his shows, uh, Bat Fat Man on Batman, mentioned going, if DC wants to fix their universe, right now like you just said with the whole bat family or instead of doing a dc universe movie what if they turned it into a bat universe where the yes there'll be dc movies but it's basically be like because look at this they're now do, do, going to be doing a, uh, a a nightwing movie they're going to be doing the batgirl movie it's like they're kind of building the bat family to be like then they can have their spinoff i think that's their way of trying to fix everything right now because they're like our <laughs> shit is not working <laughs> wait, 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 wait. do you do. think that they hold, don't hold do on, that wait, wait. though because like DC they've is done actually building up their universe no <laughs> they're no this, wait, this, this is the way i feel like i feel like that all this is the sad part is they're building up they're not just building up the entire universe they're just trying to build up the bat universe so like everything else is going to fail I at feel this like, point I you know, feel like I they said it. fuck it after the Chris Nolan thing but I feel like, like they exactly like, I don't feel like they're going to make more bat family movies because we've had so many iterations of Batman like we had you know Michael Keaton we mm -hmm. had you know Val Kilmer we had George Clooney we had the Christopher Nolan Batmans you have Adam West Batman like Batman's been around for so long in media culture but that Spider-Man like, has been Pretty close. But yes. not as long. Spider-Man has not been around, like, not in, nearly as long. in media since, like, the 60s. Basically, we, Batman's been, been around been since the 60s. Spider saturation lately. Yeah, like, since the 90s. Easy. Remember no, that, yeah. MTV? And MTV and I don't think was that, playing Spider-Man? Yeah. Oh, you know what? I oh, really, my God. Did you guys ever see that animation? You know before? what? I actually knew one of the writers for it. He wrote that episode of Star Trek, The Inner Light, where Picard gets the flute and he goes and has the family, like, that... You know, like, he gets old and dies and, like, has the family in, like, the, like, other sort of realm. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. It's called yeah. the Inner Light. I actually there know... There are four lights. Is that the one or no? I don't think so. You should look that up. It's I know the, uh, the writer yeah, for that. Guy. And <laughs> wait, he wait. also... How, how many lights? 
There are four lights. Four. Okay. Make it show number one or two or three. But or so four, the writer for that actually also did Dresden Files, and he did um. Oh, okay, yeah. Morgan Gendel. He used to be at Comic Con all the time, and then. He and Phoenix Comic Con had some disagreements on how stuff was Ooh, run. Yeah. I didn't get the full details, but I'm sad he's no longer there. But he, if you ever get the chance to meet him, he's such a cool guy. That's such cool. a cool guy. But back to Batman. I really feel like we've been oversaturated with Batman movies, which is why we don't get the opportunity to have a Batgirl movie or a Batwoman movie or Nightwing, which... Let's be real. Those would do so well, well compared to Justice League. They're working on it. But they, think about that. Like, Josh Whedon already, he pretty much switched from going to the Marvel stuff. He went over to DC. He's writing the Batgirl movie right now. That would be, like, freaking epic. Yeah, I, but, is, yeah so. he's, like, that's, like, again, in the works. But like, DC just, maybe Josh Whedon can save it. Like, no, I'm no. Hoping... I mean, look at Firefly. He can't save shit. But he can be in a step in the right direction. Um, you know what, though? Like, he, he brought Marvel movies to the forefront, like, with Avengers, though. Eh, because, Avengers like, okay. look, prior to Avengers, X-Men was not super, super popular. Like, the original X-Men. The number one, the first, the first one. Movie? I love the first movie. It, people but love it, but it was not... Too. But it was not hyped the way people right. get hyped over Marvel now. Well, no, it's like because well, it was one of the first ones, but it was the first but time. Like I, Hulk movies, nobody gets amped about. I actually, I I would love a new Hulk movie right now. If they did Planet Hulk right now, I'd be all but over the, that. I'm talking Eric. Like I'm talking Ed about Warner. Edward Norton, Eric Bana. Like nobody got really amped about. Oh, it. I love the Eric. The, uh, the Marvel um, universe Norman. hardly yeah, Eric, acknowledges Eric, Eric, that they yeah. even exist. No, and I get that. Well, okay, because everything – this is how everything works. There's so many times you can mention a movie and people are like, I've never seen that because a lot of people are – it's kind of like Stan Lee says. It's like every comic book is going to be somebody's first comic book. So a lot of movies might be somebody's first – like Patrick, who was just so – who laughed abruptly. Um, <laughs> he literally – he had to go back and do research because I go, oh, you should check out uh, Civil War because it's on Netflix because he hasn't watched a lot. Like the last movie he saw was Iron Man 2 Wow. in that cinematic movie. So he's all like – who are all these characters? And I'm like, <laughs> okay, what do you need to, like, do I have stuff, do you need to borrow it? You know, kind of thing. Um, and it is what it is. Like, don't get me wrong, Marvel knows how to put their movies together and stuff like that. And I know DC, like, DC, like, they, like, like we could either copy what Marvel does and then ever, this is why I realized with DC right now, because they're so, like, late to the game, that anything that DC does, everyone's just going to be like, oh, you're just copying Marvel. Or you're worse than Marvel. Or you, like, they have no, like, honestly, Spawn's going to come out, a new Spawn movie, a revamped of Spawn and stuff of that, written by Tom McFarlane, rated R, gritty with the technology and stuff of that. People are going to watch it and be like, oh, this was a really good movie, or it was a really bad movie, but no one's going to go, oh, they're just trying to copy Marvel, because Image is a, such a completely different realm than what those two yeah. heavy hitters are, and stuff like that. That's why I say, like, DC, like, I love their TV shows, I love their animated movies, and their comic books are kicking ass. It's like, the only thing I feel like they could save anything right now is just to be like, let's destroy our movie universe at this point and just I, yeah, focus I on like, shows. I feel I, I agree with that. I feel like they really should not be focusing on the movie verse. Like, why not do a Justice League TV show? Like, that could have been epic. Like, you know, like, fix Gotham. Like, get rid of Gotham. Do a Batman okay, show, like, so where, like... You know, you have a modern day Batman. Like this is the thing with Gotham. The original thing is off of like a comic book based off of Gotham PD, and it was basically just a comic book of just everybody in the police department solving these murders and stuff of like that. You know, with Commissioner Gordon. And yes, Batman would come in occasionally and be like, "Oh, well, I'm working on something else, but here's some, here's like a lead or something like that." And they would investigate. Like I've been fine if Gotham was like that. If like Batman just came in and be like, or like they, like they come up to a crime scene and Batman's already there. He's all like. Oh, uh, this is like he's like, oh, I'm working on another case, but you the know. Problem with Gotham is the timelines. Like it just oh, yeah, doesn't it's... make sense. Like so... Commissioner Gordon, like already knowing Batman, <laughs> or like you're like, like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, like it doesn't it doesn't really work. Like, and how do you like you know you've introduced like Bruce Wayne to like you know Selina Kyle? It doesn't work. Yeah, it's... like it doesn't make sense to the storyline. Yeah, it's it. That's why I said like I literally first season of Gotham, I was like, okay, I'm on board, and then when I watched the second season, I'm like, all right, I'm I'm, I'm done with this shit because they start bringing in like villains. So I'm like, okay, of course Batman's gonna be able to take down everybody because by the time he's Batman, everyone's like 80 years old. Yeah, it doesn't make like the whole Joker character. I'm like, 
Batman doesn't know him before he becomes Joker. The like, sad part is, like, I kept telling the people, people were like, oh, I like this Joker character. But like, well, technically, the Joker doesn't become the Joker until Batman becomes Batman because, according to one of the, the canon stories, is Batman created the Joker almost pretty much, like actually. He accidentally pushes him into the acid into or whatever. Into the vat and everything like that. So it's just like, it's a whole, like, that's the thing. But like, like I said, like, I just watched the, the best, like, that's why I brought up the DCW because I absolutely love all that kind of bullshit uh, with the tea drama and stuff like that. I know Matthew's just like, just end the show right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have a baby to get home to. I have a baby to get home to. Uh, I'll wrap this up real quick. Well, we only have 12 minutes left because we have one really long tonight. Uh, according to the recording thing on this thing, so yeah. Uh, yeah I, was that, that, I, I watched watch the new watch the new like uh, Flash Speaking show. In, man. The new Flash Here episode. Not, man. New Flash episode. He travels to the future because he has to figure out something. But they literally had like the Flash costume like that he wears in the comics and stuff. And I'm like, okay, when do we get this now? Because literally like that costume, I was like, that's amazing looking, like just for TV. And in Justice League, why is the Flash a kid? Uh, it's a different universe and everything that we'll figure that out. I, I, pro- I, actually, the funny part is, I actually oh, like the Flash. Yeah. I like the Flash in the in the in the in that canon right now. Like I love the guy who plays him in the show. Well, we the TV him. show, I Batman understand, but like in the movie, like Batman vs Super, he's a kid. Yeah. Like he's not in Justice League as a kid. He's an adult. Like. Well, yes and no. I mean, like, I, everyone I, I, changed their can. I mean, well, look at Wally West. Wally West is supposed to be Kid Flash, and then then they have him in uh, they have him in the Justice League cartoon show as Flash. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What do you think about like the '90s Flash TV show? It's great. You know, I liked it a lot. I loved it, and you know why? I even loved the new one because they brought him back, the original Flash, to play Barry Allen's dad. <laughs> like, nice. That's awesome. that's awesome. Nice. So I love that kind of stuff. But um, before we go. Because we have like 11 minutes left, and this is a long episode. I know Matthew's like, I have a fucking kid now. Let me get home. Uh, <laughs> like I said, kids in route. You're good. Um, you guys, where can they find you on the interwebs, Sarah and Matthew? We're at twogeekswhoeat.com. That's the number two, geekswhoeat.com. And speaking of all these comics, um, next week yes. there is a um, – Secret Empire is coming out, which is Marvel's new comic line. You know, Steve Rogers has secretly been a part of Hydra the whole time, guys. Captain America has always the been working guy. for Hydra, according oh, to the new shit. comics. So <laughs> That's why I never liked it. Chris Evans and I'm going to So next week, issue number one is coming out of Secret Empire, and we actually have a recipe that we've created for... Hydra schnitzel sliders, cause you gotta go. Say it again, say it again. That's amazing. Hydra schnitzel sliders. Oh, we need a hashtag trending on that. So, um, one of our the new comic shop for us is uh, Fantastic World Comics. They're in Scottsdale. They are actually hosting a party from eleven to seven. Yeah, for v- Secret Via Wars. Linda and 90th Street. Yeah, they're on Via Linda and 90th Street in Scottsdale. They're doing, you know, they're doing like raffle tickets for like five bucks. You can get like. A signed comic, which is mm-hmm. an important comic. I I'm not gonna pretend that I know which important comic it is, but it's a you good know. one. And then they're yeah. also doing like a bust, and then signed yeah. prints. So like nice. they're doing that, and they're the owners super cool. Go in there, talk to them. You yeah, it's a great you, shop. You know, they're they're all over social media. Fantastic mm-hmm. Worlds Comics. Look them up. They're on Instagram. Facebook and Twitter, Boom. and we are not getting paid to sponsor them. We legitimately just like these people. <laughs> this is just so, this is just something you need to know. Yeah, cool. this is Scott still finally has a comic shop. Like we haven't had a right. comic shop in a while, no so <laughs> so for us it's kind of a big deal. Yeah, you know we we mentioned getting like Judge Dredd and Predator versus Batman comics, and that was actually there. So nice. you know head over there. They're awesome, awesome people. Fun party. Get your comics. Like we we've been we have our secret wars. We haven't started reading them yet because they did some like you know the pre comics like number yeah. zero and like mm-hmm. they always do that. And there's stuff. like there's several other issues of other Marvel comics that fit into the Secret Empire yeah. world. No, I t- yeah, because I, I remember I picked up like the original Civil War. I was like, this is awesome, and then they're like, well, there's Civil War this this, and I'm like, yeah, I don't have money for that. Uh, <laughs> so. It's definitely like Marvel's big story arc right now, right. so 
it's definitely worth checking out and we're kind of amped about it because it's just yep. kind of like i love being at the beginning of a comic arc right. because like i always feel like i'm at the end where it's like oh well crap i'm not going to get like the beginning like 50 issues of everything that was out for that so yeah, wait for the trades. yeah exactly right, wait right, for right. the trades 10 years later and oh, so hey, to be fair they're only like two years now come on yeah <laughs> so, yeah and anyway we're uh, number two geeksuite.com and then at geeksuite pretty much everywhere else yep you uh, actually but you also need to promote your other twitters because you guys started following us on bhorecast i'm like i didn't know you had like several other twitters so oh well i have we have geeks who travel which is like our sort of smaller sister site which is Travel stuff, Comic Con like, stuff, like our, our lifestyle blog that we kind of put everything in. That we just—it's not food. That doesn't belong. It on just Geek isn't Sweet. food. Well, we're not all about food. We're just about promoting. So yeah, <laughs> be sure to food. be sure to enter our you know giveaway for the sushi set. Yeah. We're also still for another week giving away some brown rice. If anybody cooks at home, we made a really awesome spam and kimchi fried rice. Ooh. That it was the bomb diggity guys. That's two kimchi things you've mentioned. I love kimchi. Kimchi is one of my it favorite. It smells so bad though. But it tastes so good. And it's like a skunk, my friend. We have we have a lot of I've movie ticket giveaways coming maybe, up. Maybe We're gonna to do Alien kimchi. Covenant. Probably. I know Matthew's interrupting me right now. <laughs> love you, babe. He said maybe is definitely. So, you know, we've got some we've got some movie giveaways coming up. We're going to do a ticket giveaways for Alien Covenant. Um, I think we're going to have some for Wonder Woman, I think. And not 100% guaranteed, but we may have some for Cars 3 as well as Pirates of the Caribbean's new movie. Mm. And I think oh, maybe Baywatch even. Mm. Which I'm pretty in for. Well, me, and Matt, me and Matthew hey, are talking about that. I'm like, I'm like, I'm kind of intrigued. I'm, I'm, I'm really it. excited because I remember when you when you said Derek knows that girl's name last week. Yeah, I, I Ad, remember. Alex, Alexandria. Diazario. Boom. Done. Done. <laughs> yeah, we're all about. Hey, girl. <laughs> yeah, but we're. Um, I hope my wife's not listening. I know she's not. <laughs> anyway, but I want to thank everybody who coming on the show tonight. Never think that, of course, you know where to find us on Facebook, Twitter, Spreaker, iTunes, Stitcher, Marketplace, and also the Google Play Music Now and all that good stuff. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Boom. But uh, I guess until next time, kiddos, I'm going to do a really bad impersonation of uh, Patrick Stewart because I am sounding very haggard, but make it so, number one, and tap that sass. There are four lights. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm-mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out. All right then. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out.